Hello and welcome <laughs> to High Rollers. I'm Alex Smith. No. Hello and welcome to High Rollers, <laughs> the weekly Dungeons & Dragons game here on the Yorkscast Twitch channel. I am your regular Dungeon Master, Mark Shaw Humes. And joining me, we have Kim Richards. Yo! Tom Hazel. Hello. Two L's. Yes, two, two L's. L's. You have to remember that. Katie Morrison. Hi. And Chris Trotmus Trot, the man, the legend, the cock. <laughs> <laughs> the legendary welcome, cock. The legendary cock. Welcome. Uh, to the stream. A couple of quick things to go over. Thank you once again, Xylus, uh, for passing over the stream. We hope that your stream went well, friend. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, please go to the High Rollers Reddit. There has been a post by Max, Mr. Matthew, to follow, um, just announcing that sadly he won't be returning to High Rollers. Um, he's got some reasons that he doesn't want to come back, which I suggest you go and read, because there's a lot of them and it's his personal stuff, so I don't want to you know, speak for him and everything else. Um, please do check in that out on the Reddit. Um, everything's fine, like he's happy, he's, he's really loved his time playing the game, but he's just got some other things that he wants to focus on right now. So Plus, he's always that. welcome back. And he knows that, and he's, he knows you know, that. we've said that like if we can kind of get him onto special one shots or you know Christmas things and things like that, we're going to try and get him on there. So you should check that out. He'll still be in uncharted territory though. He will, mm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's still going to be in uncharted territory. Um, but yeah. the the nice thing, you know, if there is a positive to be taken out of this, is we've spoken with Mr. Tom Hazel, our long long time guest yeah. and fan <laughs> favorite, and he has agreed to join the team on a more permanent basis. Which, Yay. yeah, thank you. I didn't agree to this. <laughs> no. Steve's gonna kill you. Um, I distinctly said no. Well, <laughs> you are overruled, I'm afraid. Look, me, the icon's just changed. Da 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 It's got like a little bow! It's my level Yay. up animation. Yay. Um, we know that you guys really like Tom, we really like him too, so we thought we'd invite him along <laughs> uh, to join us. <laughs> Hazel <laughs> finally has justice. Just just for Hazel. For Hazel. Hazel. We need a new hashtag then, because that uh, one applies anymore. It's probably forever going to be justice Fire for Hazel. Hazel. Yeah. Fire Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hashtag bring, bring back Matt. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Um, the next thing is this coming weekend is Insomnia 61. Uh, Trotimus will be there with Hat Films doing signings. Kate will be running around being very stressed and working very, very hard. Um, to Mr. Me. Tom Hazel will be there working on the Yorkscast booth. I will. Uh, Kim will sadly not be there. Uh, I'm on holiday. She's going on holiday. I will not be there except on Sunday. I'm going to be stopping by on Sunday for a very quick uh, swing by day for some signing. I think we're going to try and on Sunday do a if Trot's free, me, Trot and Hazel are going to sit down and do some signings. It's going to be a bit loose cannon, but we'll be around and we'll happily sign stuff. I'll you? try and swing by if I can. If Katie looks busy, depend. leave her to it. If she looks chill, I'm sure she won't mind signing stuff for yeah. you. But yeah. I think the same sort no of goes for me as well, because I'm there You'll to be doing filming, filming and, stuff and stuff like that. that. I mean, yeah. if generally what I found is that if you're camera. working on the booth and selling merch, you've easily got, got time. time. If you're yeah. probably filming stuff, that's probably not a good just, time. Just wait around for a yeah. bit. Yeah. We'll so, um, so there's that. That's going to be this coming weekend uh, at the NEC in Birmingham, but so you can check yeah. that out. There'll be High Rollers merch as well. Don't be afraid to say hi to us, though. If you yes. see us around and we're not doing something, don't be afraid to come up, because we always get a lot of people being like, I saw you, but I didn't want to say anything to you. So we're there hi. to see you guys, so pardon me. If I'm me. looking grumpy, then <laughs> that's just my natural face. Don't. Yeah. So I, I have to get up early and spend like an hour and a half in a car with Mike, uh, yeah. Merch Mike, so if I'm a bit grumpy, you know why. Uh, <laughs> These guys can probably forge my signature as well. So. I know your signature, I, I, I can just I can both. definitely forge Kim's signature. <laughs> you can forge my signature. Uh, so, <laughs> there you go. Um, what I will say though is there will still be Uncharted Territory this coming Friday though, so yeah. don't think that you're not going to miss out on that. It does mean there will not be a High Rollers this coming Sunday or next Sunday, um, but there will be a, a high, uh, an Uncharted Territory on Friday. Don't, I can see you swallowing that <laughs> and then say. that's going to be did really that? 18. 18, not bad. <laughs> Yay! Uh, right. Quick recap um, of what happened last week. Uh, our party of adventurers have journeyed into the ancient city of First Light. They uh, found a new ally with an officer called Melody Jones and her construct companion Hank, who Cam Buckland is now incredibly suspicious of. Uh, Everyone but <laughs> oh, no, sorry, is. Trot is very suspicious of, probably. Yeah, I mean, there's something about him. Yeah. Everyone's what, a bit, everybody's no, a bit suspicious. Yeah. Just suddenly, you know. It's ever like, since Flisk, I swear so to God. Dylan Sprouse has ruined us. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong campaign. Um, you guys made your way through the city, uh, encountering some arcane ghouls and some strange miasma that affected spells. Um, but you made your way into a pocket plane called the Nexus, 
um, which allows transportation around the city. There you faced off against a mechanical guardian, some sort of strange creature that had magical eye rays, definitely not a mechanical beholder. Very um, similar, oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, where you fought against that, it was a close battle, but you eventually won, causing the creature to reset and register you all as magisters that once belonged to the Arcane Brotherhood that ruled the city. Um, the Using the Guardian, you used its sensors to locate the Lightborn children. Um, you also identified that there was a significant presence of yuan Ti snake peoples, um, in the tunnels beneath the city and snake. at the Mistara campus where the children were being held. You teleported to the closest node um, where you explored the campus. Uh, you stealthily made your way through encountering strange snake men creatures that seemed to have been transformed from people. Um, what are they called? Broodguard. Oh, Broodguard. Broodguard. Um, you snuck your way down into a series of laboratories or workshops where you found a pair of Yuanti purebloods experimenting, or about to experiment on a young child. Um, Elora snapped their necks using her new immense strength. Um, you also rescued a bunch of kids that were still being held in some sort of like holding cell um, and freed them, sending them up to Malady and Hank up in the teleportation room. Straight then, into the clutches of the enemy. Yes, you then snuck your way through. You eliminated two more guards, some Malisons, uh, snake hands or snake heads. Um, depending on which ones they are. Um, and then you eventually found your way into a large operating theatre with a balcony overlooking it, where a colossal snake man, body of a, like a kind of legs of a snake, so instead of, instead of legs, the body of a snake, but with an, a humanoid torso, um, arms uh, and a snake-like head. Um, you can see that it wears uh, very fine looking clothing on its top half, almost like a wizard's robe. It has a golden circlet. Um, with a small diamond at the center around its head um, and it has long gloves like leather gloves covered in like blood and gore um, there are trays with uh, cutting implements and various torture devices and strapped to one of two heavy wooden tables is a young girl uh, which was explained to who was explained to you um, by the other group um, as being Sana that's her name um, you burst into the room to the Yuanti's surprise, and that is where we left the session last week. The blood and gore on his hands. Yes. Are they? Is there a lot of recent? Or it, is it appears dried. It appears yeah. not fresh, fresh. Okay. Fresh. So he doesn't wash his hands. Uh, doesn't wash his hands. Doesn't appear so. Medical. He's a terrible medical professional. Yeah, Classic Yuanti. Um. Elora and Cam, you both entered through the lower entrance on the same level as him, whereas Juto and Reynard are kind of in this kind of balcony, balcony seating rose. area that looks Back over rose. it. Uh, the large snake-like creature... I'm going to get my stats for him. Just so I'm aware. I have a fear of balconies after the giant. <laughs> oh, after getting clobbered by them. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah. He got clobbered uh, by a balcony a couple of times. Me. <laughs> it turns around and these kind of reptilian cold eyes fall upon you. What is this? Why are you disturbing my work, you miserable pink skins? Well, he's blue. Actually, we're both blue. Yeah. So. <laughs> blue skin. <laughs> um, I will not deal with these interruptions kindly. Uh, and he raises up a hand towards you. What do you do? I'm going to uh, invoke one of my abilities to go invisible. Okay. Channel Divinity. You channel Divinity, turn invisible. I'm going to jump out of the way. Which way? Show me where yeah. you would like to jump. And would you give me an athletics check to see this how far way? you jump? <laughs> I would move yourself uh, five feet back there, uh, friend. You go to jump, but you kind of trip. Um, you stumble a little bit and fall flat on your face. Um, <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I would like you both to make dexterity saving throws and everyone after that to roll initiative. Have we been seeing Are you serious? Can you just roll another one? No! Oh. Ooh, you, there is a curse what placed upon you. Fucking one, twice two in a row. Ones. <laughs> the first, first two dice rolls, rolls today. You, have you done something? What the fuck is this? This is want, just actually... Someone's cursing you. Do you want my dice? But I've used every dice I own. I've used your dice. I've used your dice. I think mine worked well. It doesn't mine. matter which dice I use. <laughs> You've well, rolled someone. Well, a natural one, likely a failure. Ken Buckley. 19. 19. 19. You are going to succeed and take half damage. Oh. As a glowing 
Speed. <laughs> That's a lot of energy. Advantage. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is initiative for you two. You don't need to make dexterity saving throws. Yeah, no, I know. It's just um, another one so that I rolled. Plus you need natural 20 on initiative. On initiative. A golden sake. bead of light flies out and detonates in a fiery explosion uh, mm. around the door. Uh, I'm going to need to borrow some d6, please. I have three. I need s- eight, five more. Well, there's... No. Oh. Enjoy. Pow. I've been given oh, I end the kisser. Oh. Yay. A fireball. I'm going to leave Ooh. the room. Twenty. Five. You take what's half of twenty-nine? Twenty-nine. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. You take right. twenty-nine, Elora, as a fireball erupts ah. around you. The large serpent man slithers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his serpentine body across the uh, hard wooden floors, which are now crumbling ruins. I will not be interrupted from my work. I am so close to unlocking the secrets. The secrets of these light born. Her Majesty shall reward me greatly. Um, oh, that's going to be an Would you hold your lovely frame? Um, I'll show it at the end. Thank you. <laughs> 16 for him. Cam Buckland, what was your initiative? I didn't actually roll it. Uh, well, that'd be useful. Seven. Seven. Elora, you rolled. 23. Juto. 15. And Raynard. 23. Raynard. Well, as Elora got the natural 20, we will go to Elora as mm. first in the initiative. Did you see my tweet calling you Raymond? I did. I, I Thank did. Ah, no. <laughs> funny <laughs> joke. Real, real good. <laughs> 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 I'd like to push yeah. Raymond off the balcony. Your initiative. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, the. I don't know who's that. Burp. That's great. Uh, the <clears throat> crackling embers of the fire uh, kind of echo around the room. You guys hear this cacophonous explosion. Uh, the girl on the table is conscious and kind of you see her flinch. She doesn't cry out. She doesn't scream. She just kind of flinches her face as this kind of wave of heat erupts over you. Um, Has hmm. Snakebutt seen us on the balcony? Uh, he... You're not so, sure? Mm-hmm. Um, gonna cast Blight on him okay. at 5th level. Okay, and it is a constitution saving throw, yes? Yes. And it's necrotic damage? Yes. His advantage on saving throws, but he is still going to fail. Woo! Thank fuck. Fifth level blight. Uh, so I increase it by another, so I need d8s. D8s. Why don't I have d8s? Here you go. All the rage <laughs> of the burning Six, pain. Seven, oh, eight, of the nine. thoughts of, of injured children. How many? Nine. Fucking nuts. Blind. Don't worry. It's Plus the rules over. that matter, so... One nice. It's just like there's like a million oh. eights. Oh, eight on my dice. Um, there's one so one. Nine. My dice You've got a lot. It's 10, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, Yes. Oh, I, okay. I think you watch I think as the the water running through this creature uh, is dried, and you can see its skin kind of becomes gaunt and tight. It howls in pain. Forty-one. Ah! Forty-one. I counted wrong. Forty-one. Forty-one. Well, masses. Uh, you it hear does. him cry out. Um, his eyes kind of focus into hated points on Elora. So I'm... the little elf. Thinks she knows how to cause pain. I'm going and to. I shall show you the true meaning of such. Bonus action, Earth Elemental. You use. I've taken you a, take short a short rest. rest, and you get them back on a short rest. Yes, that's true. Love. Yes, yeah, sit spell down. Spell slot. Spell slot. Sit down. I, well, I forgot that Wild Shape doesn't come. I. You. Know, the reason I recent I remembered that at the last minute is because I recently made a druid for something else, and I was like, oh, they get them back on a short rest. It's only Circle of the Moon. Circle of the Moon, though. Not circle the land. Oh yes, I do somewhere. Well, you get that out because that is the end of your action. Rain art. I'm Feral going horn. to also move. Where's yes. the child? Which uh, one? This one. This one. Yeah, he's kind of moved. He's kind of. Okay. 
slithered so. up against it. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to go on the assumption that he hasn't seen us. Okay. So where's the actual edge of the balcony? Is it this bit or is it? Ah, uh, it's this last line here. Okay. Is it like That's slope, the it's like, like a seats steep. It's like down. seats going down. Oh, okay. Seats. So in that case, could I one, two, just a couple, just a high behind mm -hmm. one of the chairs? So you kind of got like yeah, you've kind of got these rows of chairs. They're not particularly tall. Um, you'd have to like really crouch down to get uh, behind okay. them. Oh, I'm behind the lawn now. You can still see the creature. You could jump on it. 15, 20, 25, 30. That's not yes. Right. Okay. I want to point my crossbow at him. With your new With Hero new... Forge Draenor <laughs> figure available at Hero Forge. We're not sponsored, but I'd like to be. Um, <laughs> yeah. He'll be so, nice. do I roll Sponsor stealth? Or... <laughs> uh, would you like to roll stealth? Very well. I was kind Let's of make a stealth thinking to move stealthily. <laughs> That's six. That's six. Okay. <laughs> you do not have advantage on your attack against him. He seems to be aware of your presence. Hmm, so he's attacked already then? Yeah, he has attacked. Uh, he has cast a spell. Damn it, so I don't get advantage from that then, either. Okay, in that case... No, you do I want to... Oh, here, here, we comes. Go. here we here go, here we go! Here it comes! The classic Reynard. <laughs> I'm going to do a tumble somersault flip, <laughs> triple <laughs> axle, and every time I spin, I fire a crossbow bolt. I think I just... <laughs> out of my butt. I'm just going to... I'm going to be like Yondu. Axle! Yondu! <laughs> Does he, he seem to have anything time. that looks like a dominant <laughs> hand? What's that? Does he seem to have anything that looks like a dominant hand? Um, he held out his left. His oh, right bicep is a lot bigger than me. He's um, a snake. In that case, oh, I just want to shoot him. No arms. No dick for a snake. He's just literally got snake heart, lower half. He's like, like waist. Like the guy's from XCOM, without breast. Do yeah. snakes have dicks? Snakes have dicks. I want to shoot him with a dick. Where are they? How do they reproduce? <laughs> Eggs. <laughs> How are they in the Eggs. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google this. 25 to hit him. You with the crossbow? In the right arm, please. Uh, you fire out. The bolt does seem to strike into his arm. Oh, I also wanted a hunter's marking. Is that too late? <sighs> you've rolled. Uh, damn it, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make the rule as once you've rolled, yeah, you've okay. committed. Could I, in that case, after I hit him once with one of my attacks, then hunter's mark, and then hit again? Or does that have to be a double? Technically, you could move in between the attacks, but I don't think you can take a bonus action. Okay. I'm going to say no, because it's like katoon katoon, and then you can cast the magic. But you can cast it at the end of your turn, and you'd have it for the rest of the fight. Yeah, I'll do that then in that case. That's fine. Um, so yeah, so 25. Hits. Yep. Uh, the crossbow one, sinks in. Two, eight plus five. That's ten. Oh. Reynard, the marksman. Do you miss? Is that natural hang on, one? Hang on. Natural ones. Always miss. Oh no! <laughs> I'm afraid to say. Alright. Otherwise, yeah, you could just have a crazy bonus. Okay, it's not going well. The second bolt just flies through and beds itself into the stone floor. I'll remember that. I'm going to use that for something later. Okay. That was, it was a plan. I wanted okay. to miss. Yeah, the, the, the first bolt does kind of cut through his arm, but you can see that the thick scales absorb some of the hit. But okay. it definitely does seem to cut through. And then I'll just Hunter's Mark him. And then you Hunter's Mark. Okay, remember you've got Hunter's Mark up? Yep. And his um, concentration too, so. Okay. On his full go, because he technically took the surprise action last time, right. um, he is going to do two things. Hmm. He is going to, he kind of clicks his fingers, and I don't think I'm going to have any miniatures for that, so I'm going to need to buy, borrow some like, dice oils. <laughs> can you take my D10s and stuff? Actually, yeah, I can take your D10s and D4s, because you don't use D4s, do you? Don't, no. So you punch the D6. Four of those. And two of these. The two tables, including the one that has the girl on it, and a series of torture implements from his table, rise up into the air and start animating. Oh, um, this is several of them that coming towards easier. Cam, and some of them coming towards <laughs> the. Which one has the girl on it? Uh, this one. table Cam's, here. Um, so we'll have invisible, that. Invisible, though, isn't Yeah, it? I'm invisible. Uh, he is invisible. He does seem to know where you are, though. Snake eye. Uh, sorry, right. I'm going to use those as the tables. I'm going to use as the implements. This is bullshit! This is bullshit! Come on! Uh, so he clicks his fingers and these kind of animated things uh, begin to uh, surround you. And then he's going to slither over here. Slither, slither. 
Um, and then he will... Surrender. No, no. He will attempt to simply hit the great big elemental with a kind of bolt of acid. Ooh. Um, oh, acid. Is it poison damage? Uh, it's not poison, it's acid damage. Corrosive. But I don't think it's going to hit you with a 13. No. No. So it kind of like the... It kind of this conjured ball flies out and just splashes over the stone harmlessly. When these things begin to move. The two large tables actually advance on the elemental. And then a series of these fly towards Cam's direction. Now, they do have disadvantage against you, Cam, because you are currently invisible. Um, so that's going to be a 10 to hit from the first one. Nope. Second one. I've got an 18. Uh, it's going to miss. Third one is going to hit, however. Um, got my little butler. Yep. Uh, you can take seven points of damage as one of these kind of like kind of curved blade just happens to slice through the air and just by chance catches you. Bugger. Uh, in Laura, the two larger tables, they kind of stand up like people waddling on their kind of two legs. But, but one still of them, the girl on it. one of them has the girl on it, and it kind of throws its limbs at you, trying to smash into uh, its uh, legs, its table legs into you. Uh, Nineteen to hit from one. That is going to be five points of damage, and then the second one, that's cocked. What kind of damage is it? Uh, bludgeoning. So I take half. Yep, if you have resistance, it's not magical either. The second one is also going to hit you for ten, so you take another half, so five. And then we go to Juto. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, inform you guys that snakes have hemi penises. Okay. Cool. Uh, which means it's kind of in a sheath. In, like tucked in. It's an innie. So you yeah. can get to it eventually. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Or if you make him aroused, it will come out. Both useful options. I just thought that was a really Bible important... Strategies. Very, I'm glad that you've shared that. I just, I had to Google nope. it. Let's I arouse him. <laughs> okay, I would like to uh, take a running leap at Elora and jump off and attack him. Okay. Can I see her coming and help her? Uh, you can try. You're currently being accosted Tabled. by two tables. So why don't you give me a... Give me a dex check as the elemental to see if you can do it without them kind of getting in your way. Hey. Um, you give me a acrobatics check. Juto, I should say. 21. Okay, so you don't, you kind of manage to kind of push off to kind of give her a little bit of lift, but you don't quite manage to get like an arm up or anything like that to throw her. Um, these tables are just kind of hedging you in, and there's the nervousness about trying to hit this girl and things like that. Uh, Juto, you manage to run and leap, and basically you can get to the to the snake man quite easily. Uh, you kind of rush down, jump onto its back, <laughs> spin off, cool. Esque, like cool esque, um, and land next to it with the Gwandal spinning. I'd like to kind of like hit it on the way down. Okay, yeah. sure. Go if for it. The if it hits, um, if this hits, yep, it will hit. Uh, Don't worry. As you go to attack him, uh, he does kind of his eyes glimmer up, and with a kind of hand gesture, a magical shield is going to improve his defenses. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Still, just barely hits. Uh, I would like to stunning to strike with that as well. Okay. Roll that again because that was not a proper roll. Um, just well, you roll the damage, yeah. So yeah. If it wasn't, if it was cough and stuff. Uh, the stunning strike has no effect. He saves. How do you know what my DC is? Because I roll higher than your DC. What was it? Uh, I rolled a 15. It is and 15. And that's without his bonus. That is 15. That's without his bonus. Eight! <laughs> Can I do Eight. some poison damage? Uh, no. I'm rolling for it anyway. Eight points of damage. The Gwandal. Slices in, uh, cuts through the magical shield and gets in, in between the flesh. Uh, second attack. 16 plus 9. That is still going to hit, even 25. against the shield. Mm -hmm. Starting strike on this one as well, please. Mm -hmm. I rolled a 15 again. 9! <laughs> <laughs> 68, yeah, you kind of, these two double slashes from the, uh, the Guandao slice into the creature, um, causing deep gashes. Um, Dig gashes. I'm gonna. How would you like to use your bonus action? Um. 
You can make two, an unarmed strike or two. You could use your dodge ability. Don't I have one unarmed attack? Just as a free. If you make an attack action, yeah, you can make one armed one without spending key points, yeah. We should frame yeah. this kind of knowledge. It's not actually on the frame. <laughs> it's, that's, it's about key, that's but the it's thing, not it's about not on the frame. Lights. It's we not should, the right bit. We need, <laughs> um, we need to write it down. <laughs> so no, I will, yes, you can I'll, make one unarmed straight without spending key points. I will do one unarmed, okay. and then can I use uh, patient defence? Uh, no, no, not, because not, it still not, sorry, requires... Not patient defence. Uh, the, Step of the wind. Yeah, it still requires your bonus action. So you either, as your bonus action, make a free unarmed strike, spend a key point to do two unarmed strikes, or spend a key point to do your Step of the wind and all that stuff. It still uses a single bonus action, so you have to pick which one you want to do. You don't get a free unarmed strike and then get to do it as well. You either make attackies, or you do dodgies. I would like to dodgy. Okay, so you spend a key point, and you're going to activate Step of the Wind, which means that you take the dodge action. Uh, well, it's disengage. Oh, you're going to disengage. Okay, where yeah. would you like to move to? Um, behind Alora. Five. You got like 40, 50. 50. 50. Yeah, you can easily get behind Alora. Uh, the table will get an attack. Can we go under the balcony? Uh, yes, there is an ever so slight lip. Uh, the table will get an attack opportunity against you, however. Um, oh no, disengaging, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, it's against all creatures. Also, it's the whole turn, apparently. Yeah, it is. That's what I just remembered, yeah, it's the whole turn that you get, you don't take any attacks. Uh, so that is Juto's go. Uh, Cam Buckland. I'm in a bit of a pickle, spell slot wise, as in I don't have anything. Um, <laughs> as in I have nothing left. <laughs> but I do have enough to conjure a spiritual weapon, which I'll put right there. Yep. My bonus action. So that, your invisibility goes off as well, doesn't it? Because there's only one turn in the yeah. yeah. So you kind of boop Hello. back into existence. They know where I am. There's no. three kind of flying big scalpels. Can I attempt two? Yeah. I know these are all engaged to me. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, me. <laughs> can I use the spiritual weapon to distract this one so that I can push through to this slot here? Attempt two. Without gonna, getting an attack of opportunity, basically from this, from that one, that so you one. still take two. Well, no, because I'm still you within. You still engage. Oh yeah, that's two. true. Yeah, um, I would say if you have a spiritual weapon, that attack it. Yes. Then I will do such before I move. Okay. As in, like, I mean, you don't make an attack with a spiritual weapon. The spiritual weapon is going to use its attack to kind of keep it distracted. Very well. Mm -hmm. And then you can move yourself. I'm going to move. And here. then you stay engaged. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. Okay. I'm gonna nimbus <laughs> one of the floaty scalpels. And this, this one right here. Okay. Actually, this one right here. Okay. I don't like that one. Yep. They move quite nimbly through the air. You whip out nimbus. Whoop. Try and slash it in. in Sixteen the plus uh, nine. Sixteen plus nine is a hit. The nimbus kind of smashes against it. Roll me some damage, mm, boy. Is there any point in me doing divine strike, poison damage? Uh. <laughs> I can poison this fucking implement. <laughs> I don't. Th it doesn't make sense to, so I'm going to say no. But I'm interested to see what the actual definition of the spell says. Of animate objects. Okay. I mean, yes. Yeah, roll, roll the damage, but don't include the poison damage. Um, you technically wouldn't get sneak attack as well. Uh, six then. Six points. Straight raw damage. Yeah, I mean, actually, by according to the spell, <laughs> you would do poison damage. That is so dumb. <laughs> okay. It's a floating fucking dagger. In which case, ten points damage. <laughs> it's a divine <laughs> burst of energy. I, we're gonna say because it is divine, like because if it was like it has a poison, poisonous effects, but it's yes, still I think like we will say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sure, I mean, that's more of an acid thing, but sure. Uh, ten points, you said? Yeah. Uh, so you, one of them is like, you heavily kind of pit it and it kind of dents into the metal and bends it with the magical properties of the dagger, um, causing some Bloody damage. Bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Are you still invisible? No. No, it pops yeah. out at the end of the turn. Uh, Get closer to me! Elora. Everybody. Me. Yeah. How is the child strapped to the table? Arm, arm, leg, leg. Three, uh, four, sorry, thick leather kind of binding cuffs that have been attached to the wooden table. 
Wooden table. Yeah. You suspect that if you were to try and just attack the table to try and damage it, you'd risk hurting her. But you could but probably I, try and grapple the table and then pull her away or I like rip off the bindings. I quite like to try and get her off the table. Okay. Um, so give me just... By not hurting her. Yes. Give me a strength check. Um, I imagine you're going to be considerably strong. That's a natural right? one. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That's the fifth one to <sighs> That's really bad. That's uh, crazy. <laughs> How is this fucking possible? I don't you, know. Just ask me. <laughs> you're trying, like, you've got the strength. It's not that the table is stronger than you, but you are constantly worried about hurting this girl, and, like, it's constantly moving. You know that if you, the wrong slip, and you could easily crush her yourself, so you don't quite manage to get a grip on it. Because I get multi-attack, can I try again? Yes, sure. I'm depressed, Mark. Let me try again. Mm. Thirteen. Thirteen. This time you manage to kind of get a kind of stony fist around behind her, um, and you manage to pull off, I will say, half of her with okay. that check. What? So, <laughs> no, as in her, like, like one of her arms and one of her legs you manage to kind of pull okay. free, um, but she's still kind of attached. She's kind of conscious, and she's now trying to pull herself off, but she looks quite weak. Um, she doesn't look like she doesn't have a lot of strength left. In okay. Her. Um, you just tore her out of two... Buckle. Like basically, like I tore the buckles off like, the table. Basically, okay. pulled the buckles off the table. Oh, okay. Um, but it's Elora's trying to be careful. Her, yeah, she's yeah. easily got the strength to do it. It's more the basically Elora's being, being a bit shit right now, but she's trying. Um, <laughs> would you like to try and move, or are you happy to just stay where you are and focus on trying to get this girl free? Uh, <clears throat> do the noble thing. I want to. Is the table floating? It kind of walks moment. like a person. It's oh, got it's like on two its legs. legs. Right. It's like, okay. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> It is very Fantasia. Be our guest. Is, yeah, it's a little bit be our guest and Fantasia if they were murderous implements and trying to kill you. 18 rated. Yeah. Animate objects. Not a spell a DM likes. It's more like a summon spell normally. Like, like oh, I'm just going to add. Woodland beings. I'm going to conjure four centaurs into this battle. Hey. Oh, great. Yay. Um, uh, for now, I'm going to try and stay freeing her. Okay. Sounds good. Reynard. Um, right. Reynard! So, which um, buckles are not done now? Uh, her left hand side. Left hand oh, Are you going to try and shoot them? Again. Well. It's fine, don't worry. You've got the angle. Yeah, you can definitely position but... yourself and you're an expert marksman. Okay, what I'm going to do. <laughs> I love yes. it. I, I can't. I love it. I love Reynard's turns. They're my favourite turns. Can I? Can I? I can't have a favourite. <laughs> I can. <laughs> okay. Right now it's Tom. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, wow. twenty-five, thirty. Right against the wall. Yeah. I want to <laughs> multi-attack. Does that work on two different targets? You or? can shoot two different targets. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I want to shoot with the idea of like pushing it away from Cam. Okay. Um, so not necessarily to do a lot of damage, but to just hit it in such a way that it flies off away from camp so he has a little okay. bit more movement next time. Okay. Um, Give me an attack roll. I'd love to see that. So would I. Uh, that's 28. Okay, roll damage for me. Just to see. D8. That's uh, 11. 11. 11 points. <laughs> um, you fire the crossbow bolt and it basically breaks the scalpel in half and it just oh. clatters to the ground. That'll do. It's a tiny scalpel. It's like a, well, yeah. it, a tiny scalpel <laughs> yeah, for a huge, like, yeah, like oh. for a big, so it's giant more like a sword. It's, more, it's like a dagger. It looks like a it. long knife. Okay. And what is this one? Uh, that this is, is like a pair of uh, calipers, like really pointy, sharp looking clippers. Okay, I don't like, want to get that one. Uh, clampies. Uh oh. That's the sixth one. See? What's going again? on? Can I like move this way so I don't get inflicted don't get by this curse? Infected by the curse. I mean, I was kind I of. I was rolling fine at the end can. of last week. I don't know what's happening. I'm it, getting the, really angry. The bolt, though. yeah, it, it just flies it just off the wall. Oh god. Misses. Okay. And at the same. If I was time, cruel, I wouldn't have you roll against Cam's AC. But I'm not. I'm a nice guy. Oh. That's Seeing kind. that we're failing. I mean, a little bit. We are fighting animated tables with little girls strapped to them. Yeah. You're kind. Uh, I want to. Actual... I'm kind. The Yuan T isn't. Okay, uh, Axel all the way through. Axel! And slice away at the. Ooh, which one would be the best? Because if I get rid of her arm one, then she's just like dangling on this one leg. Mm -hmm. Shit, if I get the leg Very one, true. then she's dangling from one arm. She's going to be dangling either way. Would you rather she dangled the, upside make down? Make a decision <laughs> now. Want to get the leg? Okay, shoot the leg. Uh, make an attack roll with Axel. Slice the leg. Don't get an actual one. 
Oh, that's not great. That's, um... Thirteen. Thirteen. And because you're trying to go for the, the binding cut, it doesn't... It kind of cuts through, but the leather is clearly really thick, and it's just kind of... It's like trying to saw... Um, okay. and cut through. <laughs> just a floating scimitar. Yeah, it's just back like, and forth. <laughs> okay. It's like he's got his animated sword and now you've got your animated sword. And it looks like it's trying to cut the child. Yeah. Oh, Laura's just know. looking at it like, what is No, he is actually alive? trying to go through the binding. No, she she it's got precise control. She might not know. Yeah, that. She um, she's pretty weak though. His go. Hmm. Who is going to cause a problem? The giant elemental is definitely an issue. Hi. It's ruining with his experiment. But he would be smart enough to know that that wouldn't work. The inner workings of a snake. A snake. A Dame scary Dame snake. Hemi penis. <laughs> Don't say things like that, please. She's See, penis. you guys get all these cards for your spells. As a DM, I have to look stuff up. I've got my phone. Because I need one for every single class. D and D. All laid out in a large pile. Yeah, that'd be extremely difficult to navigate. You could just like Yu-Gi-Oh it or Pokemon it and just like pick one and just throw it down. Yeah. <laughs> Blue eyes, white dragon. That's Boom. how I'm gonna use my spells from now on. Just bam. White bitch. <laughs> Ooh, I activated Kay. my trick card. He is Thormaturgy. going to lay down and die. Leave. <laughs> lay down and die. Self-destruct. Just throwing these ideas out there. Reynard. Huh? <laughs> Give me a wisdom saving throw. Why? Oh, I've only just joined. Distance on this <laughs> shit. Induction time. Oh, that's quite high. Wisdom saving throw. Okay. You, yeah, I'm looking at what you've rolled. You feel your body starting to seize up and paralyze, but oh. you're kind of like, nah, 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 and you kind of manage to shake it off like a strong sense of will. quite a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> stop <laughs> me. He kind, of, he kind of hisses, and he's going to... Too close. And then he sends one of the, the last remaining scalpel at Juto. Um, and then he tries to barf up some acid onto the elemental. Uh, that is going to hit this time. That's like a 26. You're going to take. Ooh, that's going to be 13 points of acid damage as he kind of like ah, spits all this acid over the stone form. Um, and does that. <laughs> the creatures, the animated creatures, Juto, one of them, the little scalpel starts to hit you, it's a natural one, flies off into the wall. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> boom! Does that like typically rolls. move it then? It did move. No, okay. like, no. It's, it's just that the, the wall is right wall beside you. you. Oh. Uh, Kambar, you're comes, you have two. Whilst your spiritual <laughs> weapon is engaging one, it resumes its attack on you. Well, it can't. Why? Because it's there, and I'm here. Uh. Well, now it's moved. Yeah. Natural one. <laughs> so the curse has spread now to me. Excellent. Good. Nice. Uh, however, the next one is going to be How does it 19. Go? Yeah. yeah this good. is the rest of the fight. It's just everyone rolling one. Three points of damage. Every it time someone you. rolls a natural one, someone should donate $100. <laughs> <laughs> the table is about dice. $600. We don't have <laughs> that. will break the curse. <laughs> That's the only way. Our fans are not rich enough to well, do that. I well, no, you know. 16 to hit Elemental. Uh, no. Could be millionaires. No. Uh, the two tables just kind of smash the wood against your stone form. It doesn't. It tickles at best. It um, tickles at best. This is like these little stone, heavy stone oak, uh, wood, heavy oak legs just like bonk, bonk, Do bonk. Do not take any damage for smashing against a big old Doesn't rock. seem to be, no. It's odd that. It's magical. It's magic. It's magic. It's magic. Um, Juto. Can I attack Snakebutt from there? Uh, you could, yes. Mm -hmm. I will attack snake butt. Okay. Let me step up slightly. Ball. Right. 17 plus 9. That's going to hit. Stang strike as well. Oh, he would have done his shield oh. as well again. Why do you roll so far? So violent. Yeah, I've got a lot of aggression on me. <laughs> How much damage? 7 and a stunning strike, please. Are you marking off the key points for these? Yes! <laughs> You're doing a lot of them. It's the only thing. How many oh, key points do you have? I've got 10, yep. and I've marked off 4. Okay, good. Uh, that is going to be, what's the DC? 15. It's, uh... Con save 15. It's a constitution save, yeah. Uh, that is a fail. Yes! So he is <laughs> stunned. 
Stunned creature is incapacitated, can't move, and can speak only falteringly. The creature automatically fails strength and dex saving throws. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. My time has come, maybe. So, second attack has advantage. Oh. 19. Oh. How much? Oh, 19. Uh, that is actually oh, my skills on not going to hit him. The magical shield around him, because he cast it before you stunned him, is still in effect. Um, it absorbs some of the blow, but you can spend key points to do unarmed strikes. Ah! Carol. <laughs> <laughs> what have you forgotten? Nothing. Just this shield. It's a little bitch. He's a mage. He can cast spells. He's a fucking asshole. That's what he is. That's what he is. Um, what would you like to do? He is stunned. He can't attack you. You would get advantage, right? Wait, how many attacks have you? You've only done one, right? Uh, two. Oh, you've done two. I missed the second one. Uh, can I have a swipe at the scalpel? Um, you can. Incapacitated, by the way. Uh, can't take actions or reactions. Yeah, he's fucked. Yeah. For one turn. Yes. Oh, for one turn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't last forever. Take advantage. Of I'm gonna. This. I'm gonna hit him. So is that just until the? So you're gonna do a flurry. His next turn. One flurry. I would like to flurry. Are please. you gonna spend a key point to do two flurries or one flurry? I know two. you hate decisions, so you spend a key point and yeah. then you're gonna make two unarmed strikes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, advantage each. Yeah. Oh, you. Ha- everybody has advantage against this guy while he's stunned. Seventeen plus eight. Uh, that's going to gonna hit. hit. If you get over 20, while he currently has a shield spell, you hit. Three, seven on the first one. Until the end of your next turn. Oh, nice. Oh, so yeah, it's this turn and next turn. Oh, cool. Right, cool. Unless he has some sort of Is thing this... to get out of it, which I'm not saying he does if, like, there are creatures that can do stuff like that. Seven on the first. Shield of concentration. Uh, I don't think so. I think it lasts until the end of his turn. Or until the end of this round, I would. But I do need to check a bunch of things now. I need to check a bunch of spells. Uh, Sorry, what did you get, Kim? Seven. Seven damage. And then I'm rolling again. Oh, shit. (laughs) I'm going to get over 20. Eight plus six. That's a two. All right. Eight Eight plus six is going to be 14. So that one, the the shield absorbs. No, it just lasts one round. Until the start of his next turn. So until the start of his next turn, he has the shield, which puts his AC at 20. Is Um, that next? Uh, up next, after Juto, is Cam Buckland. Does not Shit. give a fuckland. But you get advantage at the moment. You get advantage against him at the moment. Or you are, have got those two things. I've got these to deal mm. with. These little buggers. I'm gonna... <laughs> move my spiritual weapon there. I'm gonna say... Here animated goes. Objects is a concentration spell. He is stunned, but he's not... I'll make a check for him. He took damage though, right? He's, but he's not like unconscious. He's aware of what's going on. He's just like, Mrah. it's what? like being just like a flashbang. Like you know, he's like, yeah. ah, wow. that could so it's it's That's why I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a saving throw for him to okay. see if he can maintain it while he's still fucked up. But he's taken damage since then. Does that not affect him? Uh, it should do. I mean, how much damage does he take? He was taking like Two, a seven. bunch of ones. So I'll make um, checks for him. Uh, he fails it on the first one anyway. So. So all of these things fall? They they just yeah. The ones that are flying in the air fall. The tables kind of like <laughs> just go back to being the tables. tables. And I've still got a table, <laughs> one of them, right? I've still got a table. Yeah, I mean, it just kind of leans down. It just isn't moving anymore. Like it would not. It would be okay. super easy for you to just pull this okay. this woman off. Okay. Um, so, Cam Buckland, I'm going to. He will automatically fail uh, strength and dex saves, guys. Wham, mm-hmm. wham. I think Elora is the only one with spell slots left. Wham. I have stuff that wham. needs dex saves. You do. Wham. End of my turn, right? End of your turn, yeah. Mm. Two tables. I think it's more beneficial to be beneficial to my team. I'm going to cast aid on me. What's that? <laughs> five HP temp. Uh, you get an extra, well, it increases your max HP by five. Juto yeah. and Ray- Raymond. I don't unless, you have, unless you have the a girl. Source. Okay. I don't really need it. So, so ten, oh. take it. Plus ten, mm-hmm. take it. Oh, and you cannot be frightened. You can do it to ten or five. Five, five multiple five. people. Oh, you get a, so you basically five get an extra five on points. top. So you've got five on top of. Uh, Ray, Raymond doesn't. What? He's Raymond. giving it to the girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Raymond. Oh uh, yeah, it's just five each. Oh, okay. Is it three it, people? He's giving it himself, Juto, and the girl. Oh, I thought it was four. Saws. Sorry. It's fine. Okay. So that's your action. Why is there targets? Um, gonna move 
Spiritual weapon? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Not in range. No. So it's he's going to just away. go there. He just goes there and hovers around. It's like a blockade of things. Okay. Um, uh, Elora. Uh, can I snap the last? Yeah, I'd say that would be one of your attacks. That, I'll do that as my as one the cre- of them. As it is no longer animated, you just and put uh, it off. And can I... She, she is awake, she kind of like falls off and stumbles towards Cam. St- yeah, can I send her and point her towards the door mm-hmm. and yeah. shunt her away from this guy and use She basically my- gets her distance because she, she's kind of like stumbling. She gets to Cam and that's about as far okay. as she gets. Hello, can friend. I use my other attack to like, hit him? You have advantage. It's the same role. <laughs> 19. Bang! Against the magic shield surrounding him. shield is going to go soon, hopefully. I'm so mad, it's unbelievable. Um, <laughs> it doesn't show. Nothing is animated anymore at all, though. Nope. None of them. Nope. And it, it's not going to come back. In which case, can I just oh. use my big body to shield Cam and the girl? As much as possible? Yep. Body block. Push Cam. And if he tries to get... I just want to make myself really fucking big. Snectic. Um, Hemi penis. Reynard. Can I roll an arcana check on his thing around his head? Yeah, sure. What does he have on his head? Yeah, really well right. remembered, Reynard. He has I a golden circlet with a small 17. gemstone. Um, you're looking at this. Uh, that's clearly some sort of magic item. Like it, the way it glimmers and glows, like it has magical properties. You don't know what, but it has magical properties. In that case. Reynard Ferrohorn! <laughs> uh, oh Are you going to fire a grapple and then like Errol Flynn? Five. I don't have any grapples. Oh, oh, I need to invest in a grapple. Yeah. 5, right, 10, well, 15, 15, 20, 25, <laughs> 30, 30, so I'm just like right next to him. Yeah, you can literally like, yeah, he's like right below the balcony. <laughs> Is he reachable? <laughs> yeah. like, you can literally like swing under, hoik! Because oh, yeah, he's like above him, yeah. He's, he's stunned, he's stunned, so he can't move it. You could just take it. Can I just, yeah, I just want it. You just want it. Got it in your hands. Um, like, as you hold it, it does shrink down to more normal head sight rather than his giant head, snake head. Does that seem to affect him at all? Um, right now, you can't really tell. Mm. It might do, mm. but you don't. Mm. Mm-hmm. Thing is, are we in agreement that we are just killing this guy? Or? Yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty much. He was killing small children. Yeah, but don't we want to find out what he was doing? Nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> Reynard, do, do we want to kill this man? All right. Shut up, Reynard! My axial still soaring. Axial, yes. I'd say pulling off the <laughs> headband would be your attack act. It would be your action. But you okay. can still axial. All right. Well, my axial is still soaring. Yep. From it is still, when it was in yeah, the air then. Still be I just want to right, right up. forward. It has him. advantage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you still technically have Hunter's Mark. As well. Oh yeah, so that's um oh it's eighteen. That you need a little 18 sword, Benny. Doesn't hit the Damn shield it. is still in effect. Um it doesn't stop you reaching through to pull off his eight? item, but it does stop hmm? attacks. Is it plus eight? Yeah. So you rolled a twelve. It's twenty. Still plus eight is twenty. It's a hit. I was like, no, no. <laughs> I thought it was twenty one. The it's twenty axle... when he's got his shield. No, twenty is his AC. Oh, okay. One D six um, and then Hunter's Mark is uh, a D eight, I think. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Filling the time while I check my stuff, because I really need to print this This is off. fine, it gives everybody else a chance to think about their next turn. I don't do that much. I think about it all oh, my time. Oh, one extra d6. Yoink! Oh, it's a d6. Okay. Uh, 5 <laughs> plus 4, which is 9. 13 total. Fucking liberty to this guy. Sorry, I'm in now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the axle chips up, strikes into the creature, like, uh, it's clearly in pain, but it's kind of stumbling around. Um, okay, on his go, can't do the nothing. shield fades away. He does nothing because okay. he can't take actions. Um, he can move, actually, but he can't because then you'll all beat him up. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, so he does nothing. Staying there. <laughs> oh no, he can't move. A stunned creature is incapacitated. He can't yeah. move and can speak only. He literally <laughs> just stands there. Uh, Juto. I would like. Locked down. I would Monks. like. Also overpowered. To uh, water whip him. Okay. Um, which means, uh, so he's going to get water whipped. I would like to have an extra. He automatically fails strength index saving throws. Yep. 
That's why it. she's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to oh. put an extra key point, extra two key points in it. Let's okay. do two. Let's do two. Oh no. To increase its damage. Uh, it will knock him this. prone. Okay. It will knock him prone. Yep. And so, pushes him uh, 10 feet back as well, I think. Uh, 25. Is, is that not I mean, if he's you against the wall, so that what yeah, you're I'm throwing him against the wall is going to cause extra damage. If it throws him 25 feet, he's already next to a wall, so he takes effectively. 20 feet worth of falling damage because you're throwing him with force into a Ooh, stone I would wall. like to do that. Okay, so roll your water whip damage and Hold I will on, roll the so falling damage. Three, four, five. Five D10. D10. Do you need One, any more? One, two, three, uh, two more. <coughs> Eight. Oh, I don't have any more D10. I got it. And then okay. add whatever you roll to this and another eight for throwing him against the wall. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that ten? Ten, yep. Uh, Nineteen. 19. So 20, 20 with the thing, 28, 28 plus another plus 8, another eight. Uh, 36. Nice. 36. That's some big nice. damage. That's a lot. And he's some not prone. Light tier damage. Uh, you throw him against the wall. You kind of, <laughs> this water kind of coalesces out of the air. Wham! It kind of thuds into his chest, sends him flying back. You hear stone crack, wooden beams crumble as part of the balcony actually collapses in. Oh. Reynard, give me a deck saving oh. throw. You'll be fine. It's a 20. Natural <laughs> 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 You leap out of the way as the kind of thing crumbles and lands on top of it. You can see its kind of snake form just about coming to. Are you doing anything else in your turn, Kim? Um, how is he looking? Pretty, pretty rough. Uh, there are multiple gashes, wounds. Um, he's currently buried under some rubble. What is prone? Prone means... Uh, you have advantage on attack rolls, which you have um, until Already. the end of your turn. Now, technically, Water Whip is your action, so you can't make any further attacks against him. Okay. He needs to take an action to stand up, doesn't he? He you does. He, to half his movement. Half his movement. Wait, is he like that until the end of his next turn? Yes. No, it goes at the end of Juto's go. So it's but going But his now. go isn't for... You, right, there's right, a lot right, of you right, going right, before right. he does. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, and you can probably easily finish well. him. Mm -hmm. uh, can I nip behind Laura, please? Mm -hmm. So you just kind of... Whoop. He can't take reactions, so you take no attacks for opportunity or anything. That's your D10 and stuff like that. Um, yeah, easily done. Cam Buckland. Is it mine? Mm -hmm. You're off to Juto. Okay, I'm gonna shout. It's I'm taking stuck. the girl to Inch safety. Up. Okay, you can deal with this mess. Come on. She's just come like, okay. She like holds, she, like, she grabs onto your arm, and the two of you. Who has the sending stone right now? Um, me. Okay. Uh, You're right as next As I'm passing to her. you, I'm sorry, just tell Malady that she's coming. And then I'm and you run out. Okay. out. Yep, just run yourself up to the door because I think that's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you get outside, yeah, sweet. So between the two of you, you kind of grab her, kind of half carry her, half pull her, okay. um, and you kind of rush her out. She's just like, yeah, no, are, you gonna, are your friends going to kill him? Yeah. Good. And then she kind of comes with you, um, cool. you pull her out. What happens to a spiritual weapon? Still there. Um, still there. Still there. Still He's just going to go... He gets advantage, doesn't he? Because he's still he's, prone. He's prone, yeah. He's no longer stunned. He's kind of, as he comes to you, he's like, nah. You miserable little creatures! You'll pay for this! 18 does uh, 18 still hits him, he yeah, doesn't have shield spell. Like he could technically activate it now, which he would do because he's not. Yeah. Is it his, does he have to do it on his turn though? No, it's a reaction shield. Um, mm. Which he will do because, yeah, it'd be smart of him to do that. He's a smart guy, so yeah, he basically, like, as he sees the spiritual weapon, he's like, nah! <laughs> it's not involved in that circuit that, that Reynard no. took off. No. no. Something else. Okay. Damn. All right, that's me. Uh, that did certain things, but yeah, you don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's your go. Uh, Am I going to turn into a snake person? Be an improvement. Elora, what would you like to do? Um, Is this Hulk from Avengers 1? Oh my god, can I do that? Well, you can try. <laughs> It'd be a grapple. I'd say it'd be a grapple and then you'd make, like, you'd slam him against, like, surfaces. Got a tail. Okay, like so like a strength. I mean, he looks quite strong, but yeah, you just rolled, what's that? A so 24 on strength? Do you know what? That's really funny. 23 on strength. Like, you grab the tail and he's like, no, get, uh, and he's like scrabbling at your arm, and then you just, bam, bam. Um, give me a, a slam attack as normal. Okay. Um, but we'll add extra damage to it, depending on a strength check you're rolling in a minute. So, oh, you hit automatically. So oh, just do, do the damage. Just do the damage oh. for a slam attack. Um. Six. 
17. Okay. And now roll a strength check again for me. <laughs> a natural one. Can I use luck? I'm going to use luck. Seven, I've got okay. one luck left. So that's going to be 21. Okay. Roll another 4d6. Worth it. Shit. Worth it. Do you need d6? Nope. Okay. Do you need ones that aren't rigged? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> ten. Ten. Uh, so that's another Two ten. <laughs> Trot, can you stop rubbing your balls on um, Katie's dice? With that, you it. watch as Elora picks him up and just <laughs> slams him against wood and stone. More of the, the balcony collapses in, crushing him. You watch as uh, a large piece of stone crushes part of its chest. You hear a loud couple of snaps. Blood pours out of his mouth. He's alive, but be- like literally hanging on by the smallest thread. I'm still holding him. He like croaks uh, a, a breathless and bloody kind of. Uh, um, as uh, Elora finishes, smash him on the ground. Uh, Reynard. Um. Uh, he looks completely. <laughs> Like, Laura's just he, holding the tail, looking up at him like... It doesn't look like he poses <laughs> much threat. And he's prone. I jump. He is prone. Land on his chest. <laughs> yeah? Is that you just, you just want to jump onto his chest, yeah? I just want to jump onto his chest. Okay. Um, no. Shoot him? You're going to just, well, just see, see what I think this might just finish him. <laughs> he kind of like... <laughs> blood just coughs up. It kind of sprays all over you. Oh. Part of it's like a little bit of acidy, so it kind of burns your clothes and stuff. What? Um, it's like... like <laughs> Uh, you can feel that, yeah, this he's probably got like several broken ribs that have pierced the lung. You suspect that if left alone, he probably won't survive, but he's semi-conscious. He like looks up at you, he's just like, nah, If you kill me, the secret to unlocking the light blonde's power it dies with me. I mean... Well, no one. It's my work, but my results... Uh, Her Majesty will likely kill me for failure if you take the children. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll shoot him. Okay. Yeah, Elora's just looking at him like one. Just Don't even need to roll. You just... As he kind of falls, uh, there is kind of... You see that he had some sort of... Um, some sort of vial in his, uh, in his like, wizard robe that kind of tumbles out. Um, it seems to be full of a gold liquid. Oh. Hmm, interesting. Can I, um, I'm going to drop his tail. Uh, I would like to have a look around the room just okay. to see if there's any, like, notes okay. and research. Big and... stone elemental starts. Picking up stuff, throwing it around. Not um, throwing it around, I'm just... Give me an investigation check. Look it. I'm gonna, like, no. go on the speaky stony thing mm-hmm. and be like, Malady, Cam is coming up with a final child. Okay. No. No. Um, you stomp around, you can't really find anything. Okay. You call up to Malady and she's like, Oh, g- excellent, good, good job, everybody. Um, Hank, what's that? Oh, oh, oh dear. Mm-hmm. And you can kind of hear, like, a... Uh, like something, she's like, um, you should probably get up here very quickly. Uh, there, there seems to be a large something on the other side of some of these doors. Um, I, I'll get Hank to bar it, but you should hurry. Hank, right. bar that, bar that door. And you, like retreat <laughs> towards us. I'm going to. It's still in elemental form. Can I do Earth Glide under the doors so I can get up and go upstairs? Wow. The floor is wood. You you can smash it and see if there's earth underneath. Uh, can I smash through the doors instead? You can just smash through doors. I'll yeah. do that. Yeah, and just, I'll just go towards the I mean, you really. are just like, you can just Kool-Aid man. <laughs> I'll do that. Sure walls, yeah. I'm going to do that and I'm yeah. going to just go towards mm-hmm. Malady as quick up. as I can. Um, do I pass him on the way? Or is he already you crush me. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, well, to be you, I mean, how fast do you move? Uh, not 40 feet? Still the same as... Then, then you don't beat him, he's ahead no. of you. You're, okay. I'm assuming you're taking the girl to the stairs. Yeah, I'm running. Uh, so okay. you can hear, as you get to the stairs, Cam, uh, you can definitely hear coming up there like the kids like screaming and like shrieking and things like that and you can kind of hear a very faint melody like no 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 quick no, 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 no,
I'm gonna say to the girl, mm -hmm. just wait at the top of the stairs, stay hidden, I'm going up, I'll be back. She like looks at you, wait up the top of the stairs? Isn't that where you're going? Yeah, but stay at the top, don't go on into right. the room. okay, okay, and then she comes up with you. So you start heading up, you kind of stomp through the corridor, see Cam briefly turn and speak to this girl, and then the two of them starts heading upstairs. What are you two doing? Uh, can I see at a glance just what that vial is? You look at it, it is a golden glowing liquid. Right, and I just... And the vial is thick, dense crystal. You can't actually see a way that it opens or like you could mm. open it and things like that. It's almost like the liquid has been kind of formed inside this kind of solid crystal. Okay, uh, I want to very, very, very quickly just rummage this guy and make sure he's got no notes on him, make sure he's got just nothing that could then pass on to other people. You find a uh, very disgusting looking notebook. Um, it yeah. is made from leather. You don't think it's made from cow leather. Cool. Um, it seems to be made from some sort of thick tanned hide. You're not sure what. Okay. Um, the pages are written in a strange language you don't understand. There are diagrams. Um, you quickly see uh, a, a sketch of the, the devices you saw with the crystal fitting. Mm. Um, and that's about it. Okay. Um, in that case... I would just like to... I guess I'm on the bottom floor now, aren't I? Um, the other thing, actually, you would find... He does have uh, several gold rings. Like, he does have jewellery and things like that on him as well. I don't think I have the time. Okay, so you just so grab the notebook gonna, and start running. Notebook, and then go out this You start door. heading out. Two tokens. Oh, sorry, can I have a quick uh, look around the room to see if I can find any additional notes or anything? Yep, investigation check. 16. <laughs> 16. The only thing you really find is um, above where the table with the girl on it was is another one of those devices with the... The soul the, gem. The, yeah, the soul gem. Can I take that? Yeah, you can pick that up. And then run. Okay, and you start running. So you two are at the back, basically, with Ray, Juto right at the very end, uh, Reynard slightly ahead of her, followed by you and you. You get up to the top of the stairs first, and as you reach, uh, you can see that as you were coming down, there were these kind of, like, arched windows in the stairwell but they kind of looked out onto the city you see some of those brood guard creatures swarming over them one smashes through the glass and is starting to try and pull itself through um, and they seem to be crawling up the entire building um, every stair you pass you can see more and more of them crawling up um, you look up you can see like clawed hands like bursting through the the wooden ceiling of the building um, tearing away at floorboards desperately trying to seek their way inside Malady. The girl looks at you is like, should I still wait here? No, we should go. Okay. Uh, we need to take all the children. Somewhere safe. Malady's like, looks around. She's like, okay, yes, we've blocked up the main... And she points to the other end of the doorway that you didn't go through. Um, Hank is basically holding it himself, but she's also piled up like settees and bookcases. Um, and you can see that there are like arms, like these kind of scale arms, like clawing through it, trying to pull through. Where does this go though? Uh, this seems to lead out into the rest of the campus. I, they just started swarming out of nowhere. I, I don't know what happened. Um, what should we? I mean, we've, the teleportation device uh, is still functioning. It could work, but it might do something to the children. I, I don't know what you want to do. Can you go ahead and convince the Guardian to let the children in? Do you know how to activate it? Do you? No. Oh, yes, I activated it to get it. Are you confident you can activate it on your own? Tell me. Um, she gestures to you. You need you you need to understand something about arcane symbols. And she says, and she points to several. Tap them into this sequence. And then once you've completed this, you must draw this symbol um, and then press the center gem, and that should transport you to the nexus. Do you understand? I think so. Okay. Um, I'll have to leave Hank. Hank, whatever Cam says, you must follow. And she and then she vanishes. Okay. Um, Hank is just like holding the door, hotel style. Not doing that, but right. Like, I'm gonna usher the children into the other room. Uh, they all kind of like follow you. Then follow like, me. What's on, going on? Quickly. What's going on? It's okay. You'll be safe in here. Okay. Uh, Elemental and Laura, you are quite heavy, and the stairs occasionally buckle under you. But you're like poof, almost like climbing through this stairwell, like leeching, reaching up. Um, a few of these brood guard kind of reach through and try and scratch at you, but you kind of poof, knock them away. They, you hear them scream as they fall. Whoever knows how far mm. down to their deaths. But you manage to pull yourself up, and you can see in the room. You have to kind of hunch your shoulders. Um, Just block them as see. much as possible. Am I in the, the teleportation room now? Uh, you can easily get there. Yeah, there's two main you entrances in into that room. room. I'm ushering him to a different room, but there I was am. the side lounge room yeah, that you do. I'm have. putting them into. Yeah. Not you the should put them into the teleportation room. Well, yeah. that's Cam's done. What, what? So, what are you doing? 
putting them into the teleportation. So you like, like come I in. I want to put everyone into the teleportation so, room. So are, are you just going to be like try and force them because you can't speak in our mental form? Just usher, try and usher okay. with my arms. I'm not going to push physically, but okay. Give me a persuasion check, but disadvantage because of the stone <sighs> form. No. You kind of manage to get an arm, and some of them are going in, and like Cam is kind of pulling because he's kind of putting them in one way you're trying to go out the other way and they, they just seem a bit confused they're not really sure what's going on uh reynard you're the next one at the top of the stairs yep. um a brood guard tries to reach out give me a deck saving throw as this arm bursts through part of the floor and just tries to grab onto your leg 19. 19. you and you kind of dodge and roll out the way as you see like more of these hands like bursting through you can see can i see them yet uh you see reynard basically coming up the stairs can you I... see Laura like stone form trying to like usher children out of this lounge room. Okay. Cam seems to be putting them in. I want to go under the arm and just not tackle, but like grab two of the kids and just over the shoulder okay. and just run into the room. Sure, give me a strength check. Into okay. the room or the teleportation? Oh, into the teleport, sorry. Um, strength, that's eh, 14. You grab the two, like maybe seven and eight years old, like two of the kind of more sort of raggedy looking kids over the shoulders and you bust into the room. You've got them covered, you've had to sling Wilhelm on your back, Axel's away, yeah. but you've kind of got them and you're like looking around. Juto, what are you doing? Can I set a fire in the lab before I run out? Uh, you can do, yes. It will delay you. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so you just turn around burning hands like... Yeah, set uh, fire. Yeah, I mean it would have to be burning hands, so you'll have to spend the key points, because like a little flame wouldn't set it alight quick enough. Mm. But it, as you're running past the labs, you could basically be like... Uh, and setting fire to the wooden operating tables and the wooden shelves and things like that. Burn it down. Okay, so you're doing that. And then you don't see Juto for another six seconds. What are you do? What are you guys doing? I'm still trying to get all the children into the teleportation room. So you pull them into the teleportation room now. Yeah. You said I, I see what people are doing now. And now I'm you're like... going to pull them into the other room. Okay. Yeah. So uh, give me a persuasion check. You're pretty good at these. And give me advantage. Well, not that you need it. You're like, you kind of realize what Alora is trying to do. You're like, okay, everybody in here with me, the kids follow instantly. And I'm like, they, saying, they just build the big do Earth Elemental is on our side and here to protect you. They kind of like nod, they just huddle near you. They seem to be following whatever you tell them to. Can, um, when he's doing that, seeing that he's put the kids in, can I go to the top of the stairs and look for Juto? You're faster than us, though, so you. Does she, she is, catch yep, up? she is, but there's just a few seconds. more of these her? creatures kind of bursting through. You look down and you basically see like a gout of flame and then Juto starts at the very bottom. Um, right. Uh, you are currently, so you've got, imagine you've got a square room, two double doors that Hank is kind of holding yeah, yeah, yeah. apart, and you can see that Hank is starting to be pushed back now by whatever, there's a mass of forms. You I'm are on the go. other side where the stairwell leading down okay. is, and you're okay. looking down the stairwell. Is there anything else you'd like to do? You can see these creatures are like literally tearing apart the floorboards. There must be hundreds of them, like swarms of these brood guard. Um, and you can even now start to see out on the windows uh, the Malisons, the ones with like the snake arms and the snake heads, um, levitating, directing, and being like, gah, like pointing and shoving at them and stuff like that. And they're just trying to rip through the windows. Is there anything you'd like to do? Seeing that Hank's struggling, You're gonna can try I barge bar in? Barricade mm -hmm. the door with Hank. Okay, you run up with your combined strength, <laughs> the doors just slam, holding back whatever force is inside there. But I want to also point to the stairs, just in to Reynard, mm -hmm. just as if to try and indicate Juto, like, keep an eye that way, okay. I've got this. Okay, uh, Reynard, what are you doing? Uh, as you are, like, reacting, uh, <laughs> Elemental Allura and Hank have got this door locked down, like there's, they're definitely holding that back. You can see the creatures are trying to burst in through the ceiling, like literally plaster and wood is being torn up. You can see like hissing faces beginning to poke through, but it looks like it'll take some time. Mm. The stairwell is probably at the most at risk. The windows have now completely broken and these brood guard are swar starting to swarm inside. Okay. The ones that were bursting up through the, the flooring are actually pulling themselves up. And you've got two kids on your shoulders. Can I, uh, oh, I want to drop the kids on the okay. teleportation. You just put them down. If I were to run into back into that room, mm -hmm. how far would Axie will be able to go down the stairs, like through the feet. gap? And how far is Juto? Uh, Juto probably has, it was five flights of stairs. She probably has something like 100 and 120 feet. Oh man. Uh, Question. <laughs> yes. Says that I can uh, move along vertical surfaces. 
<laughs> yeah. Would that include the stairwell? I think we might have to do some acrobatics to kind of like jump boing, from boing, 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 Yep. But it would basically mean that instead of having to go round, because that's 120 feet is the vertical size, if you were running the stairs, it would be significantly more, because um, you'd obviously take more time. But these guys had, mm -hmm. you know, mm. when you were going down, you had all the time in the world. Going up, you kind of rushed up. Okay, so if I were to throw my sword down with the intention of Juto grabbing it, Dos looting, and then I swing it back up again, which would be way faster than her. Uh, potentially, yeah, you could definitely at least put it down there as an option so that the last 25 feet she would whoop, sure. get launched okay. up quicker. Um, yeah, I'll throw Axel as far down the It'll stairs go. as I can. Okay. So um, as you do that, you throw, toss out Axel, um, and the last thing, as you do, and you sense it kind of going down, you see basically two or three of these brood guards now rushing towards you. Oh. Juto, what are you doing? I would like to wall jump. Okay, so you're going to try and do the wall jump can. as far as you can. So give me an acrobatics check. What is your normal base speed? 50 feet? 50 feet. Okay, so let's say you are taking feet. the dash action. Um, that can basically go up 100, which would give you enough time 25. to grab Axul. So give me an acrobatics. Oh dear. 10. 10. The first couple that you're kind of like, boof, boof, um, your vertical kind of being able to like walk along the vertical surfaces helps you immensely. You manage to go up probably about 70 feet, but on the last bit, like you just don't time the jump properly and you actually have to catch yourself um, and start pulling yourself up. Uh, you can see that they're, now they're on these lower floors. The brood guard have started bursting through and are running up the stairs normally. Mm. Um, a couple of them look like they're ready to swipe down at you. Uh, if I cast Levitate, yes. would that help? Uh, levitate is you can go up and down it's like you control yourself up and down vertically. Um, and is that a bonus action on the DOS loop? It's an action on the okay. DOS loop. So at the moment you wouldn't be able to, and you're currently, you'd have to let go of the stairs, get the loot out as you're falling, and then try and cast it. Uh, uh, Cam, what are you doing at this point? You okay. can see more of these creatures. Three of them are rush bum rushing uh, Reynard. You are currently in the middle on the teleportation circle with all the kids around you. I'm gonna start doing the thing. Give me an arcana check. Oh, fuck. What about just memory? <laughs> That's an intelligence check. It's worse. Two. You're like, beep, 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 it's beep, 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 It's not beep, working. Beep, 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 beep. Nothing's happening. You're trying to draw the pattern. You're trying to remember. Oh, what is it? You're desperately trying to remember what this pattern is like. Some of them are like looking at you like, what's going on? It's okay. I just need to concentrate. Okay. Um, uh, one of the boy that you gave the knife to like whips it around and is like putting the yeah, others, see what the girl has got a life as well, and she's like looking around. They're like, no, I, I didn't see what she said. Um, on that, we're going to take a break because oh. it's break time, uh, <laughs> and we will return to this exciting encounter after a break. Oh man! <laughs> oh, this is too much. Don't go see you soon. See ya. Bye. <laughs>
Hello, <laughs> and welcome back to the Hollow Rise. Where Tom Hanks is eating a biscuit. Uh, <laughs> hello, welcome back after that uh, rather dramatic oh. turn Pause. Away for a break. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> couple of things <laughs> forgot to mention at the start. Chris Trot, what are you going to be doing on Tuesday? Oh, why? Are we going on a date? No. I am going to be on role play, if you've ever heard of role play. What yeah. is that? R O L L play. Not it's a long, yeah, role play. It's a clever use of words. Um, it's hosted by It's Me JP on twitch.tv forward slash it, it me JP. Um, so, yeah, check it out. I'm going to be on there as a guest from 9 p.m. BST until 1 a.m. <laughs> BST. Yay! Wow, four hours. After a hat film stream of three hours. Yay! It's going to be a. Be, I'm going to be a little bit tired, but it'll be fine. Um, yeah, a little one shot. So enjoy that. I'm going to be an undead uh, detective. Hmm. Like the uh, like the robot man from Fallout 4, a bit like that. Robot. Yeah, uh, you're going to talk. Do uh, a yeah. New York accent. Just so I'll be with Imi JP and some other guys. Uh, Blue Jay, I think you told me. Uh, yeah. I can't remember who else you told me. And other people. Other people. Nice. Um, was there anything else to mention? Insomnia. Or something about the show. Oh, you don't need an insomnia ticket to come to the Yogscast evening show on the Saturday evening. You can just buy an evening ticket if you would like, but the insomnia ticket would allow you to come and see these guys through the day. Chris so Troy is the only one that's in there. That guy through the day. Uh, yeah, I'll be. Oh, and our and signing will be one till three. We just found out from Michael. One p.m. till three p.m. on, on Sunday. Sunday. So that'll be me, Trotty San, and Tom Hazel. Hazel. Yep. Possibly Katie, but unlikely. Unlikely. Um, but never say, go. never say never again. Um, and Moo Kim, because she'll be on holiday. Yeah. Having a good time. I just might make a stamp out of potato and just get you to Just stamp give us the like, yeah. stamp it. <laughs> nice. Uh, without further ado, let's get back to the tense moment of ironies. Cam Buckland, you stand on the teleportation circle, desperately trying to remember the code, oh. the, the series of symbols God, and what glyphs did you just say? that Malady showed you. Uh, oh. Desperately trying. The lightborn children huddled around you as clawing into the building, into the room, from the roofs, from the doors, which Hank and Elemental Allura are desperately trying to hold closed, are swarms of Yuan-Ti brood guard and what appear to be larger, more muscular looking snake men behind them, straining against the wood. Reynard, mm. having dropped off two of the children into Cam's gaggle that he has around <laughs> him, uh, Reynard has uh, attempted to assist Juto, who's making away at the stairwell. However, a series uh, three snake men, uh, brood guards, are trying to barrel into him. Juto, meanwhile, is attempting to backflip and run up and whoosh her, her way. Wall jump. Yeah. Mario, jump. I'm actually more like a like, Mario wall woo jump. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Uh, trying to get up the stairs as a uh, various brood guard thing. Elora, you can feel the press of bodies on the other side of this door. Uh, Hank is next to you, uh, desperately trying to hold it back as well. Is there anything you'd like to do? Continue to hold the door because I don't really to hold want the door, the door to open. Um, hold would you give me a strength check with advantage? Head to deer. Double force. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, parts of the door begin to splinter. Um, arms uh, come through and rake you. Um, you've got resistance to like normal weapon damage and stuff, don't you? Yes. Okay, so just take 10 points of damage. That's sure. already hard. What have you done? There's like loads of different like arms are I scratching and right crawling then. out at you. I Did you know. curse the name of Matt Mercer or something? No, like, no. I've always been incredibly positive. Reynard. About Critical Role. Right. It's probably Will Wheaton. It's uh, Will Wheaton. It's, it's the Will Wheaton I've not been near him. About dice rolls. I was near Taliesin. You were in Taliesin. Seattle. You know what the theory is? Is that Taliesin He's has taken. sucked all the luck for himself for Percy rolls? Yeah. That's, That's what, it what it is. That's what it is. Damn it, Percy stole my luck. Reynard, uh, three of these creatures are barreling towards you. What do you do? These are the same ones that we basically demolished when we came down. Okay, yeah. I want to... Demolish them. I've <laughs> lost my sword, so I want to embed my crossbow. The bit, the, like the edge bit, I imagine it's a little sharp. The arms? Like that yeah. bit? Yeah. So would that, that stop bit. it? Yeah, would that stop it from firing? It wouldn't. Yes. Ah, oh, damn it. Because okay. that's where the, the bowstring is connected to. Fine. That's annoying. Shoot. You pop, have pop. fists. All right, pop, pop. Okay. Two of them. We've two of my shots. Okay, so you pull out the crossbow. Um, I'm not going to make you roll. You just poof, two of them dead, but then the last one is literally about to body tackle you. And that one I'm just going to uppercut. Well, that's all your attacks. Oh! You're like, 
And then the last one is on you. You're going to give me a strength check. Can I step to the side? Can I not just... Like, or you can try and dodge out the way. Can you can I make duck. a dexterity wanna, saving throw. Yeah, I want to duck so it goes over me. And that's a... Uh, it's cocked. Well, you should take roll it. that. That was cocked. Oh, that was okay. heavily cocked. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, dexterity... That's 21. Okay. What? You... <laughs> you <laughs> dexterity is insane. You go to duck. Um as this creature thing, but it seems to realise what you're doing and it actually throws itself on top of you, oh. barrelling you to the ground. Oh. Um, its venomous tongue like starts dripping almost what feels like acid, it. kind of like burning at your skin, as it's like gnashing these kind of like snake-like fangs. It doesn't speak, it just hisses and, uh, and snarls. Um, oh. And you can see, rising up behind it, is a tide coming up the stairs of more of them. World Juto, War Z style. I carry on jumping up the stairs. Yeah, so with this last bit of distance, you can actually easily grab on to the axle, which begins floating you upwards. Um, as you rise up to the top, you can see Reynard basically being pinned by one of these creatures and a swarm, kind of think sort of zombie kind of style swarm, kind of coming up the stairs, barreling, and some of them about to reach down and grab Reynard. Behind him in the room, you can see Cam desperately fiddling with this arcane panel device, which controls the teleportation circle, and you can see just the edges of um, Hank and Elora holding back the door. What would you like to do? Can I jump down and attack the one that's pinning Reynard? Mm -hmm. um, and then like try and pull him up and run. Okay. You've used some of your movement to get up to the top, but yeah, give me the attack roll first. Let's see how that goes. And try and 18 plus 9. 18. You kind of just slam into it like a fine click. You kind of let go of that saw, almost swinging off of it. You snide in, you hear its naps neck. Uh, it crumbles to the ground. Naps neck. <laughs> it is a naps neck because it is now eternally asleep. <laughs> uh, naps pulled naps. it back. I pulled it back. It's a naps <laughs> neck. Um, a snapped neck. Uh, it crumbles to the ground. Um, you land next, but you don't really have enough movement to, for you and Reynard to go. Like, can I help him up? Like... Uh, you, I will say you can help him up. You kind of like <laughs> help ground him to his feet, and then you see this kind of wave of creatures running towards you. <laughs> Thank you. Cam Buckland. Oh God. Get up! Oh I'm going to continue to figure out this teleportation circle. Oh, I can't check. Can I really remember now? Uh, let's <laughs> see what you roll. Uh, nine. You can't remember. It's like a blank. You're literally having a mind blank. Children, huddle. They like look around at you. Let's what? work this out together. As <laughs> like one children, we can do what? this. Oh, yeah. Teleportation like, circles is easy. And they're like literally things like, have you pressed that one? Have you pressed this yes, one? Yes, I pressed that one. You know, you saw it. That's you saw me press that they one. They have Stupid. no idea. They have no idea. Ah, uh, Elora, are you still trying to hold this door? I feel a lot of pressure on the other side of it, so yeah, I'm gonna Shrink keep holding. The I'm gonna keep holding the door because uh, twenty. Twenty. You, you. They're not making any progress. Um, more claws scratch at you. Uh, you can take another five points. Um, that's already halved. Um, as these claws just scratch and scrape at your kind okay. of stone-like arms, you can feel them trying to almost tear stone away from you. Um, as you're blocking up the door, um, it, you are holding most of this. Like Hank is helping. It's what's giving you the advantage. I... Mm. Can I point at the thing that Cam's doing? For yeah, I will say right now, you cannot take both your hands off this door. Can you are I literally like pressing your body weight against look, it. Can I look at Hank and go... <laughs> you kind of do that. Hank doesn't seem to register. Mm. He needs verbal commands. Fine. Uh, uh, Reynard. Uh, <laughs> Juto has helped you up. You can see a mass swarm racing towards you, but you have enough. You can get away. Okay, is there anything between me and Exul? Uh, Axel is hovering in the air. It's probably ten feet away. Okay, you I'll, could easily call it to. I just need to call it back while I'm running yep. into the room with Juto. Okay, the doors are still open, like they're swung inwards. Yeah. Um, but Juto is still outside. You're, you're kind of pulling her with you. Could um, I yell at Cam and just like, there must be some sort of lightborn combined thing that you can do. <laughs> what? Just combine the lightborn forces as you and like seven others. Fruit what? Do something! I'm trying! <laughs> <laughs> Juto, are you running in with Reynard? Yeah. Okay, um, so the two of you run in. Uh, Reynard is yelling at Cam. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Like, Can I shout at Hank? Yeah. Hank, do you know the activation sequence? It turns around and it... Activate the teleportation! It kind of starts to move, but it's quite slow. Can um, I help? What do I want to do? So... You can see this mass swarm racing in through the open, about to head through the open doors into you and Reynard. Can I shut the doors? You can shut the doors. I would like to shut the doors and... There is no objects to block them with. 
do the doors have like they've got like um braces like, yeah they've kind of got like brackets. handles like pull handles so can i like put something through that what to... would you like to put through that you would need something long and fairly strong hmm. a wrestling belt you can try the wrestling belt <laughs> um that's thick leather metal buckle I'm just wondering if I use my Gwondar, but... Uh, I'm going to need an answer from you now. Make oh, I have a short sword. Okay, so you can use the short sword. Yeah. Okay, so you pull out this random short sword that you've had. I've had it since the beginning, and okay. I don't really... Well, you cook. should definitely cross that off now. Uh, Wait, no. No, I gave it away, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I you gave did it away. With, yeah. yeah, I was going to say. Uh, you should mark that off with it. Shit, 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 shit. Gwondar. I'm going to use my Gwondar. You slide the Gwondar in. Guandao is magical. It is incredible, much stronger than pretty much anything you have. Um, so you slide that in. <laughs> Against the door, you can see again this press, and the Guandao is holding it, but there it's straining. Like the door itself is basically the now weak point, and they are pushing against it to try and throw it in. Um, I was having Hank go on Elora's go, so what do you do? I'm going to cast Guidance on myself. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to try and remember. Yeah. Arcana check. You get a default to the roll. That's Natural 20. Natural. <laughs> With the guidance, you're like... Hold on. <laughs> Four. 24. Oh, 20, 23, because you have a minus one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're like... <gasps> it's like comes to you a sudden way. Boop, boop, boop. Zip, 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 zip. And it, brrr, it comes to life. I looked at the kid that said, do and you, you press and, that button? Yeah. I said, thanks for nothing. <laughs> you press the button. You, the children, teleport you away. You left us all! I saved the children though, right? The children and you teleport into the Nexus. You arrive with, uh, you see Malady there speaking to the thing. Uh, the Guardian looks down, it's just like, <laughs> Magister Buckland, welcome. Magister Jones, are these the small humanoid children you informed me of? And she's like, yes, yes! Cam, where are the others? Malady, you have to go back and get the others, thank you. What? Go! We need to activate- Go! Oh, Guardian, activate the Nexus back to that node! Uh, he's just like, very well, and Malady teleports away. Okay. Hello, like Laura, you watch as Cam and the Lightborn <laughs> kids, you basically hear them <laughs> vanish. Uh, Hank turns around, <laughs> moves up to the control panel, <laughs> and you see it glow with light, but he doesn't activate it. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna yeah, motion that? to. G where are Juto and Reynard in the room? Uh, the they are. Juto is at the other door. Reynard was literally on the cusp of the teleportation circle yelling at Cam, <laughs> who is just. <laughs> I'm gonna. So it looks like it's lit up, ready to go back again. You looks that way. <sighs> Fucking. We don't. We don't really have a choice. I'm going to roar at Juto and beckon her and point at the circle mm -hmm. and I want to... Keep in mind, I'm going to remind you guys, none of you know Malady is coming. Mm. So keep that in mind for your RP, you don't know that she's on her way. Which is why I'm doing this. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just, it's a little reminder. So... <sighs> you can't speak. No, I can. I'm just going to shout to them and point to the thing. So you just but like... Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go into the circle until everybody else is in the circle. Okay, so you're going to stay by the door? I'm going to stand at the door until everyone's in the circle okay. and... You're going to need to move a strength check, this time no advantage. No. You can take uh, another uh, 10 points of slashing damage and the doors collapse around you. Um, <laughs> you watch as this swarm of writhering snake green skinned bodies begin pouring into the room. In which case I'm gonna go to the circle. Okay, so you start making your way back. Uh, this kind of happens as the doors collapse. Rain on what are you doing? I imagine that with the momentum from the last turn I just sort of roll into the circle. You just roll circle. into the circle, you kind of <clears throat> you kind of like knock up against Hank and you're like, oh. And it's, so it's lit up, it's ready to go. It looks like you watch Cam basically slam this kind of central gemstone and it teleported him and the kids away. I want to just slam at the controls and just want to roll like a. I'm gonna kill you. I mean, I. <laughs> really? Really? No, it's not I hit the controls. Saved you. Okay. Not hit the controls. No, I mean like you know, I, I want to try and remember as best I can some sort of semblance of the code. Okay, so you're gonna look at what's lit up and you're gonna try and memorize what's. Oh there. right, you're not touching it. You're looking at it. No, no, I mean like I. 
want to get it activated, ready to go again. Like, it's really it like oh. Hank, Hank put in the code and it's primed. It seems like it's ready to be activated. Wreck on that. Okay. <laughs> That's I why want, I was like, what are you doing? I want to conjure barrage at the entire like horde of stuff and just you fire will everything. Hit Stony Laura. I want, hit it. Hit it. I want, I want okay. to do it. Just Let's go. So what is it? This does like three D eight. Uh, yeah, like... Don't need to roll to hit, um, just do 3d8 damage. Elora, you're gonna take the full thing. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, well, what kind of damage is it? Do I take... Seven. It'll take half, because it's piercing, um, I think. Uh, 14. So you'll so take, take 7. seven. Uh, oh, you basically... A bunch of these bodies just fall to the side, but you can see that there are more powerful... They almost look like... Um, you've seen ogres before? Like, mm. almost like snake ogres. <laughs> like, these kind of ogres with, like, snake... They're kind of like, and they're kind of pulling through. Snuggers and like nap snakes they're everywhere. They're the ones that were kind of putting a lot of the force. A lot of the smaller bodies fall around, and Elora now has clear space to retreat backwards. Um, but yeah, it's there's more coming behind. Uh, Juto. I don't suppose there's any way of saving my Gwandao. Uh, if you pull, you can see that it's basically the doors will fly open as soon as it's pulled out, and you would be st- you'd have to stand next to it unless you have a way of like pulling it out with some sort of telekinesis or magic or anything like I'm that. I'm out of all my key points. So what would you like to do? I'm just going to run for the... Um, so you run onto the platform? Platform, yeah. Okay. Um, Elora basically stands on it at the beginning of your next turn. The creatures start swarming through. The door on your side... Make yep. some checks. Um, they don't manage to break through. The door on your side is still blink, but there is a large force now coming through this door that Elora was guarding. Reynard, what do you do? Um, um, actually, if you wait until Elora's turn, there is a flash of light and Malady kind of appears, looks around, is like, come on, and like, looks surprised, um, but it does seem to deactivate the console. Reynard, give me an Arcana with advantage. Um, uh, 18, 7, get 20. Oh, no. That's come a 20, on. that would have been a 20. Uh, <laughs> you just rolled back to a 2. But it's fine, you had an 18 on the advantage anyway. Yeah, okay. um, Malady <laughs> appears and you watch as the column is depowered as the teleportation activates, and then you quickly are like, no! <laughs> <laughs> And then it seems primed. Oh. I'm guessing that you activate it. If everyone's in. Everyone's well, in, yeah. Oh, Hank is he in? He's uh, in. Hank He's is already in. Yeah, Hank is in. He was at the thing. Bam. <laughs> you teleport away. Uh, you arrive back in the floating island nexus. You see Cam <laughs> looking a little <laughs> bit guilty, it seems. Um, with the kids around it. The Guardian is kind of muttering to itself as it flies around. Um, uh, it seems to be doing some sort of like uh, mathematical equation. It just seems to be speaking out loud. Can I punch Cam? Uh, I mean, yeah, make attack rolls and do all that kind of stuff if you want. Um, I, I put the children first, I'm sorry. 13 plus 8. That's going to hit him and dodge the shit. That's cocked. Well, that's what your AC is there for, Mr. Mr. Thomas. Definitely hits. It's like a proper slug, like a boosh. You're all damage. I can't remember what my damage is because I threw my character sheet No, it's D6 now. It's D6 now. D6. Yeah, D6 plus your Four. Dex. You can add a key point. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> Flurry of blows. Is there any Four. snake things that came through while plus we came Four. through? Thanks no, to Reynard's barrage, which took out the front wave. Right. Eight. Eight. Okay. I'll go down. No, I don't. Good. Mean, Bam! You basically, yeah. B- badly ah, slugged. I thought of the children, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go over to the kids and just Mandy try... just kind of like flops down onto her bum and just kind of like looks really sort of like, um, are we okay. Safe? Mandy, are we safe here? Yes, we should be. The, the Guardian thinks that we're medicines. I, I've... What about the children? They are apprentices. Mm-hmm. Yep, I my don't... apprentices. Wow, you trained them well. Let's go. <laughs> Um, yes, uh, we, where do we want to head? So the, we can activate the node as necessary. Uh, I uh, revert um, from elemental form now. We should find the closest exit of the city. Where nobody is. No life forms, please. No nothing, no nothing. Ma- miasma. Magister, Galanadel, you wish to locate node with no life forms. Exit to the city. Closest to main gates, searching. Juto, where's your Gwanda? I had to leave it behind so that the monsters would not swarm us. Mm. That's what the punch was for. But I didn't put it there. No, but you left us. Found! Two exit nodes. No life forms detected nearby. 
Multiple life forms detected throughout city cannot guarantee Im immediate safety. Uh, well, Magister Jones, can I be of further assistance? Yeah, well, there's so many things. I, I, I might come back and ask you some more questions later, Guardian, actually, if, if you don't mind. I, you are so much wealth of information. Melody, that's great. Let's just go. Oh, do you want to go right now? <laughs> oh, we are safe, to be fair. Temple we are safe in here for now. Stones. What happens if they get too damaged? Uh, are you asking the Guardian? Yeah. Magister, Farrowhorn, if nodes are badly damaged, they will be inaccessible. And you they require that. repairs. I can dispatch sentinel constructs to attempt repairs. It's oh, not too bad then. I'm just thinking about the fire destroying the thing. I guess you want the Gwendo back. It's, it's irretrievable. Okay. I mean, there were hundreds of those things. Yeah, I know. I don't know how it's we can go back. It's better if the teleportation's back. damaged there so that none of them come through. We were more thinking of to get the Gwando back, yeah. not... The whole thing. I'm just very pointedly going to be like, I appreciate the sentiment, Master Farrowhorn. Mm, well. Yeah, I was going to suggest the same thing. It's just he... Maybe we can find a duplicator in Palace <laughs> Val. Guardian, are you capable of creating weaponry? I cannot create weaponry. I can help point you to numbers of magical forges or armories within the city. Can I give Juto my staff? For now, so she can hit mm -hmm. yeah, things. Yeah, with that. I mean, I need it's, to attune to it. Or? It's just a staff. Mm, it, it's just a wooden it's yeah. a stick. Can I cast shillelagh on it? Uh, Does it that make it magic? It, no, it, it doesn't give it magic. Any, no, it wouldn't give. It's mainly shillelagh's more for your benefit. Um, it it would be w as good as your punches. Okay. So right. she be able the to main thing with the grand out was it was magical, well, yeah. um, and it had the poison enchantment. The weapon becomes magical like if it isn't already. That was your choice. <laughs> oh, fists. It Jutu's was that or die. Count. Oh, if, fist I let, count as magical if I let well. go of it, I got magical fists. So, so she wouldn't be able to attune to. Actual I know. Straight away, <laughs> she could do, but actual isn't a monk weapon, so yeah. she doesn't yeah. get yeah. to do certain benefits with it. Like monks can, they're specially trained in certain weapons. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, things like nunchucks and spears. It'll and... be fine, guys. It'll be fine. Just don't fight any bosses before we go. <laughs> Stick. Thank you. We will take this teleportation to the safest. Do you want to have a quick rest? After a quick rest. I know that you of were eight quite... hours. <laughs> <laughs> the Guardian just was safe here for eight hours, right? Your assumptions are correct, Magister Buckland. Has anyone else been through since we left? Negative, Magister Galanadel. I have detected no further intruders or magistrates. Do you have the ability to permanently disable a teleport? Mas Magister Ferrohorn, I unfortunately do not have such powers. An override of that nature would need to be administered by the Grand Master. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. I reckon the brew guard mm. probably damaged it. Probably. Trying to jump well, us. They're quite violent. And they'll get incinerated if they come through here. It's big ogre ones too. They, they were very violent. I don't think that much is going to be left. I don't think they'll know the uh, I'm going to hustle the children, make sure they're all okay. Uh, they all seem... Um, Tired, exhausted, uh, quite a few of them are just sat on the ground, kind of looking a bit sort of wild-eyed. Uh, the young, a couple of the young ones, they're not crying, but they're a little bit tearful. They seem pretty kind of together, considering what just happened. They seem pretty toughened by what has all just transpired. Um, they kind of look around, the two oldest ones, the boy, uh, Jeb and uh, Sana, uh, they're kind of looking after the others. They've still got the daggers that you gave them. They kind of like got them sort of tucked into like little um, belts um, and they're kind of just like making sure the others are okay. They all seem to be very nervous of the Guardian, which is hovering around. Um, it occasionally like looks over, asks Malady or one of you a question or babbles something incoherent that you don't really understand. Um, mutters something about, you know, uh, quantum mm. entanglement processing being disabled or something like that. I'm gonna be like, hey kids, <laughs> that was fun, right? We're good. They kind of look over you and they're like, uh, the older one, Santa is like, I wouldn't really call that fun. Um, huh, but look at this. You. I had to do a handstand and start walking around with my hands. They kind of like, there's no applause. There's no cheer. Can I push him over while he's on his hands? Do any of them still look... It's like, if, if you let him push you over, there's like a slight smirk, but this crowd is 
there's not a lot of humour <laughs> left. Is there, is, is there a child who looks like the, the saddest? Like, you know, just yeah. a bit... Um, Quick question. They don't look sad. They look exhausted and just a bit sort of dead. Like, they just look a little bit... They've been through a lot. You kind of get the sense that these aren't like... They're not mm. sad or scared anymore. They're just kind of a bit done. Is with they... everything. Do any of them still look injured? No, uh, no. Cam, I think you did like a mass yeah. healing word and the other two you've... The only one who does look injured is Sana because her temporary okay. hit points, like she's still got wounds yeah. and cuts and things. I... But she doesn't seem that bothered about them. Like, they look pretty nasty. Like, normally kids her age, they'd be complaining or, or perhaps kind of commenting on them. She's just barely recognised that she's got these cuts and bruises. I'm going to cast her wounds on her. Okay. Anyway, okay. even if she doesn't... D8 plus wounds. Six. The, the cuts and that, they kind of heal up quite nicely, leaving deep scars. She kind of looks over at them and it's like, oh, thank you, miss. Um, thanks. And she kind of like nods her head and uh, they, she kind of says, thank you all for, for coming for us. We, we didn't think anybody was going to come. Um, they just look a little bit sort of dead behind the eyes. There's always hope. Can I? Maybe. Um, we just had to find where you were. Yeah, I guess... A lot of our families didn't know where to even begin. We, I remember a woman, she came and spoke to me when my parents were shopping. She said something and I thought it was the best idea in the world, like I couldn't say no. Yeah. And I followed them to a shop, a florist's I think. Florist. And then I, the next thing I remember I was bound and gagged on a horse and and the next thing I remember is being in that prison, that little cell that they had. And that's well, when they started killing us. Do they? Over and over again. So they know they're like, well, like... They knew. They knew that we had powers. Do you? They killed her the first few. They didn't realise that you had to wait a day before the power came back. <clears throat> well, you've made it through. That's what's important. We need to focus on the now and the future. Yeah. Yeah, we made it through. It's good. Yeah. We found out about your, that you were missing from Cassandra, from the Temple of Bahamut. I know the temple, but I don't know who that is. She's from Talisval. She's also a oh. Lightborn. Cam is also a Lightborn. Really? Yeah. I've never met a grown-up Lightborn. We're, I never met another. I didn't know what we were until the snake men told us. When you get older, it gives you even more power. Do you want to see? Kind of, yeah. I do another handstand and start walking around. But that gets like a <laughs> chuckle. It gets like a. <laughs> See? <laughs> okay, this time I go to push him, but I pretend I'm like struggling, like he's. The power! <laughs> <laughs> we may be kids, but yeah, it's, we appreciate the. You'd be surprised how many adults laugh at that. Not really. <laughs> um, thank you. Um, do you happen to know, and I get the gold liquid thing? Vial. Their eyes go pretty wide when you pull that out, and a few of the younger it. ones kind of look away. Um, That's the two older ones are just like, if you want to know, if we know what that is, yes. That's probably from the ones that didn't make it. It's from all of us. They um, every time that they would kill us, those little gemstones would collect fragments of energy, and then they'd store it up and. It all went into that. Something else went into it as well. Like every time they did it, something felt like a part of me went too. And yeah, the ones that died, the last of their life was what filled it up to the brim. Mm. And you've also got a soul gem as well, I think, haven't you? Two. Two, yeah. Maybe there's a way to give it back to you. Maybe. Yeah, the, the snake man wasn't interested in giving anything back. He just, he wanted to take kept talking about Her Majesty giving him a project to make the to make the magic of the Lightborn stronger somehow. Hmm. Well, they have no method of doing that now. That's good. Wait, to make the magic of the Lightborn stronger? That's what he kept saying. That's what he wanted. He... So they're infusing it with something. Do they have a Lightborn, maybe? What? Maybe. Well, the I'm thinking... Broken Sky have so many different races and species under their control right now that it wouldn't surprise me if they did. They might have a lightborn they're trying to make. The bigger. ultimate lightborn. Mm. 
And that's why they wanted you. You're an adult lightborn that they know of. Well, either way, let's rest for now. Do you have any food? They only gave yes. us simple foods when we were there. I, I start passing out rations. my rations, yeah. They take it hungrily. <laughs> it's like... Can I also... Just start stuffing it in their mouths, like jerky. It's... You can see that, like, that is, like, something that they've really attached to, like, that kind of necessary survival thing they've really kind of latched onto. And, like, the food they just eat without question, there's not even them tasting it, it's just sustenance. Um, they gulp down water. Um, that seems to kind of give them a little bit more life, but, yeah, there's... Something missing. These kids, there's definitely a little bit of life and humour and everything else has kind of been taken out of them, really. Cool. Can I give the youngest one the Korak action figure? They kind of, like, take it, but there's no... There's no light in their eyes. Like, they kind of look at it and they move it, and uh, she kind of just... Uh, is, uh, sorry, a little... Uh, a young lad, he just is like, I remember having things like this, but there's no joy behind what he's saying. It's kind of almost just like a distant memory, and he's like looking at it given, with familiarity. Given that Juto was orphaned and beaten at a mm. young age, a similar age, mm. would she recognize signs of like PTSD or. There's definitely elements of that. Like, you can see that the kids themselves, like the fact that th there's definitely elements of that, but there's also something more to it. Mm. Like, there's. I mean, you remember being shown kindness and it meant a lot to you, mm. like, when you first had that, like, you were suspicious at first. These kids don't have that, like, they seem pretty trusting of you guys. Um, it's like, it is like it's a little something. bit of their, something has been, like, a little Missing. spark of life has been taken from them. Like, they're, they're alive, but they've not quite got the same essence that drives people anymore. Hmm. Can I tell that to the team? Like, say, you know, in my experience, this is not right. It's not just trauma. They are, there's something in them missing. Yeah, it's probably those experiments. I think this liquid perhaps could restore them, maybe? If it is a part of their soul and, and their being. It's also parts of souls that have perished as well. Uh, the other thing is, you, as I mentioned to Reynard, that it's not like this is a potion vial. This mm. is like a crystal orb with a liquid inside it. There is no stopper or right. anything to get it out. Okay. It may not be as simple as just drink that and you'll restore what you've once had. I think if we take it back to Talos Val, some people there yeah. might be able to help a bit more than we can. What just if, because if that is the cure, we don't want to smash it and waste it now. What if one of the children were to hold it? <laughs> they seem a bit adverse to it, like they really don't like this thing, like they kind of instantly take steps back. Let's um let's do one thing at a time. Yeah. They can um, rest for now. Could you try holding it? Bing. Uh you hold it. Cool. What are you doing <clears throat> when you hold it? Just holding it. You just hold it, you don't think about it, you're not I think about Avandra for a bit. Um, Anchor for the protection. You it's not like you get message from Avandra. You get the sense Avandra doesn't like that orb. Like, you kind of have this kind of sense that, like, she doesn't think it's a, a good thing to be holding. Um, getting bad vibes from mm. the juju. Let us mm. return to Talisval with the notebook Reynard found. Oh, yeah. See if someone can translate it and see if we can figure this out. Was it in a different language? It is in a yeah. language you do not recognize oh, okay. nor understand. The snacks have a different language. Maybe it's code. Um, Could I? Who? What are you doing with it? Could I history? Maybe. Ah, uh, you can history check. Yeah. Nineteen plus whatever. History. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Um, you don't recognise the language. You can't read it. It's. You're fairly certain this is a very old form of, uh, like wizarding language, like a language used by the old like residents of first light for yeah mathematical formulas equations scientific chemical you know things like that mm. um uh, very old uh you know a, a dead language by all by all accounts it's like picking something up in latin now and you yeah. know a, a, imagine picking up like a technical diagram to build a car written in latin you'd be like okay. uh, is there anyone in town file that we can use to decipher this i'm sure that we know of more mm. chances us 
there than here. I'm just worried that... There is the elder and the wizard. This, uh, oh, is it Albert? Oh. Malady is also like listening in. She's like, well, if, if I had some time, I, I might be... I mean, I understand a little bit of the old language. Well, that's I've had to learn oh. some of it uh, whilst here in, in First Light. So as you're happy to stay with us for a while. Yeah, well, she looks around at the Nexus like, I, I was hoping maybe to return here. I mean, the Guardian possesses so much knowledge. I mean, he is a, a, a literal floating... Data codex Guardian. of what happened here. Can the Guardian read it? Can you translate this book? Uh, the Guardian kind of focuses over it, just like follows over. Magister, Jing. Book is written in wizarding language. Yes. Please do so. Uh, it begins speaking. Uh, it begins. It would start saying something. It starts reading it line by line, like. Um, Professor Heskis notes, Lightborn, magic, Lightfall, day one, and it starts reading through. It's part journal, part, um, like, scientific formula. breakdown formula. Um, the impression you get from the entries is this Heskis, uh, first of all, the journal is quite old, and whilst a lot of the early pages have been ripped away or destroyed, it starts long before the light fall. Like, it talks about going to classes, working on the uh, understanding of manipulating and distilling magic. Um, it works on the ideas of, it explores theories about how magical weapons and items and enchantments work. Then there is a chunk which is garbled nonsense. Like, the Guardian isn't even speaking words. It will be occasionally like, hiss, roar. And then it's like, blank page, blank page, blank page indecipherable writing, indecipherable writing, and then suddenly it cuts back in um, and it explains how Heskis was approached by a blue-skinned giant of great beauty. Um, she appeared to him in his mind um, one evening and told him that, he had, that she had a job for the greatest mind of all the land, of all of Amkir. Um, it basically ex uh, explains that the the, Her Majesty, as Heskis calls her, uh, gave him a job and said that if he could find a way to distill the magic of the lightfall of the of the Palor's light, the comet, um, and find a way to enhance it, she would reward him with his own kingdom, um, rebuilding the great city of First Light, and he would rule over it and all of its people, um, and she would help him accomplish this. Um, and bring his people back into civilization. Um, he leapt at the chance. Uh, he, the impression you get from the biography element of the, the journal is that he was incredibly proud, that he loved his people. He saw them as, as being sufferers of a, of a great incident um, that was unfair and unkind and not their fault. Um, and then it breaks down into more of a scientific formula. Uh, he begins experimenting. Uh, he refers to subjects and uh, devices, but the terms are quite loose. But the formula itself appears to be a way to capture the escaping magic of uh, magically infused subjects. Um, this particular type of magic being positive and radiant and coming from planar sources has to be contained in a certain way. Um, and he, had, he attempted many times to create a perfect gemstone, a soul gem that would only captured that energy, almost like a filter, like a like a miner who sifts for gold through silt, um, creating a gemstone which acts as a mesh that only captures the radiant positive energy from the comet. Um, so... And he managed to succeed, but he had one final test to conduct, and then the page, and then that's where the journal basically ends. So could this be something that will bring possibly something back from the dead? Mm, I'm thinking or... more if... I were to go down and my lightborn abilities were to activate, they instead would go into that thing. Only if a soul gem is near. Maybe. I think this is something for us to ponder back in town as well. I want that thing away from me. That thing's terrifying. Yeah, or they were trying to make themselves have the ability to be a lightborn. lightborn. So that if they go down, they resurrect. They resurrect. It seems like from those hours and hours of monotonous talking. I mean, yeah, like, it took a long, like the Guardian was literally like, read, 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 please turn page. Read, 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 <laughs> read please turn like, page. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like, and correct me if I'm wrong, that um, he was never told why. 
he was making this. He was just told that he'd get this kingdom as long as he did this. Which he is, was made prime, like Felania does that. So he may not even have known himself what the purpose is for this thing. He just created a storage system for Lightborn power. Probably. It's Mal 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 can, She's like, I, I concur with Mr. Buckland. Uh, from a, a scientist's point of view, I can almost understand this figure. He, he was interested in the, the challenge of it. Um, mm. It was more for his enjoyment as well as... Yes, Just and the ultimate process. reward, yeah, um, helps too. Uh, the fact but that if this he... was started before the lightfall, by it, a blue Well, skin. it seems like, it, no, that, that section seemed to be after a long after passage a long of passage time. time. The, so. the stuff previous never mentions anything yeah, about the lightfall. just his previous It seems to be his previous works when he was perhaps mm. not a snake okay. man. Perhaps not. So that not. was, maybe we hmm. tore to pieces down there. Oh, okay. You think so? so? My royal intelligence check for my next statement. And if Cam can make it or not. Okay. <laughs> 19. 19 minus 1, 18, I'd say, yeah. Whatever statement it is, that's pretty reasonable. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Something's coming to me. Felania wants the power of Pale's Light. What if Felania was the cause of the lightfall and wanted to take the energy from it? She couldn't get it from the sky, so she caused it to fall so that she could harness its power. I, yes. she, I pass out. She does seem a bit. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to make a death saving throw. Uh, <laughs> that takes a few seconds, his eyes roll back. It he's does back. seem that she's power hungry enough to do something like that, but I don't know. That's um, reckless. Would have been 46 years ago. You guys don't know. Just as a point of fact, like, yeah. just to add into your theory. theory. That's four times my age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> she looks, Mallory looks at you just like, Cam, did you ever receive a, a formal education? Huh? Where did you learn to read and, and math and numbers and The things? Mystic. The Mystic? Yeah, in our camp. The Buckland family Mystic, of course. Oh, I see. Um, he taught me many things. Did he have books? No, you don't need books if it's all up in here, you know? Yes, that, that explains considerable amount. Um, Wherever he went, <laughs> they definitely made him a magister. And I sort of like nod towards the Guardian, like... The Guardian looks down, it says nothing. Yeah, I just don't want him to think he's not. Huh? Huh? <laughs> so... Are we long resting or not? Well, yeah. I, yeah. What, what are you guys doing? You're taking a long rest in the pocket plane with the Guardian. Yes. Okay. Uh, you take a long rest. Can I... The Guardian it is, for those of you who want to sleep, which is basically not Elora, um, it is hard. There is no shifting of light. Like, there is this constant kind of aurora borealis that kind of just constantly puts light everywhere. The Guardian makes a very loud, continuous hum. <laughs> like, <laughs> all I mean, the time. I've had to deal with Cam snoring for like however long we've been I would say room. considering you've survived out in, in the wilderness, it, you're probably the most likely to just pass out. Reynard, who is used to fine living, this is quite Unbearable. torturous. Um, Cam, you don't like discomfort either. Uh, it is frustrating. Um, uh, the kids pass out pretty quickly. They seem very tired. Someone turn off the Guardian. <laughs> Flow over that way. <laughs> still, it, the hum, because the, <laughs> the area field around you hums and flickers with light as well. Oh, um, and Laura, who only needs to trance and not quite sleep, doesn't really get affected. Um, quite How long does eight last? I'm guessing that's done now. Aid is now done. It okay. lasts eight hours, and the yes. long rest is eight hours. Can yeah, I, it's got one. Uh, uh, can I just give up trying to sleep and just try and find out more about this? You can. Uh, I will say you get half your hit dice back and half your maximum hit points. Or have you not taken any damage? Uh, well, I'm taking on eleven hits. Are we yeah. doing the You whole get like five HP back. Is that oh. in and you feel pretty tired. Our other stream that we're doing, we no, have to roll hit we're doing it. He's not resting the full eight hours. But no, the, the we're rule. doing it the way that we always do it. So we get yeah. it back. I'm not done with that. But doing... Let's call it the mystical energy of the pocket plane. Heals your wounds. I didn't actually take any 
damage. Not in that fight. Mm -hmm. You did in the in beholdery one, the beholder didn't you? In the, in the, in the, against the guardian. Yeah. yeah. Taken damage. Spells! Since even before that. You have spells, man. You are haunted. Yeah. Because you're so far away. So can I, um, yeah, can I see anything about that, that, that circlet? Oh, the circlet. Um, yeah. You do, yeah, I mean, after an hour, you spend like an hour basically thinking on it. Um, it is a headband of intellect. Ooh. Whoever wears the headband has an intelligence of 19. Ooh. Give it to Cam, give it to Cam, give it to Cam, give it to Cam. What's your intelligence? That would change his entire personality. Uh, pretty bad. I've got but nine. It's rain on currently has it. I mean, I'm asleep I mean, right now. Would you, what would rain on be? It's a gold circle with a diamond uh, gemstone. Actually, my intelligence is pretty bad. I think he does not need more wit. Like, that okay. would just be scathing for everyone. Okay. It's up to you. It's your call. I'm just going to keep it to myself now. <laughs> we don't actually know what it does. Yeah. Only he knows what it does. Yeah. It basically it sets your intelligence to 19. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> does a I slept. I slept with that freaking hum. <laughs> Does he ever run out of power? That's what I want to know. Ma can. Magister, Buckland, my power source is continuous. I will need recharging in 300 years. Is that all? A correct. Okay. He has to be here to protect. There'll be the a next. new first light by then. Can you predict the future based on environmental factors of now? My search algorithms and processing power would only extend to the future of first light. Yeah, what would I happen? have no environmental data for beyond the city. What's going to happen, in your opinion? Restate question. Uh, what's, is first light going to be rebuilt soon? Define soon. Uh, in a human's lifetime. Negative. Not interested. The city is far too badly damaged and overrun with aggressive creatures to be rebuilt in one human's lifetime. Can you tell us the history of the Broodguard? Broodguard, searching, term, unknown. The current inhabitants that swarmed the teleportation device that we just teleported from? Yuan Scanning. T. Scanning. Yuan T, Wait. confirmed. He knows that one. Judging by Biological traces. Brood guard. Yuan T. Mutated from early wizards of first light during and after lightfall. Intense magic, trans in transformative magic. Transformed the them into the creatures you refer to as brood guard. Yuan T are older race, likely ascended from subterranean areas. Huh. So they became... They Inherent were... control over reptiles gave them control over brood guard. So the, the writer of that journal was, was a, a wizard. wizard. And that was probably the one that we just killed. And he became a snack when it went blank page for ages. Potentially. And then was awakened by Felania. What did, his name was Hestus, did it Hes say Hes mm. Hescus. Hescus. I mean, it's cool, isn't it? That rings a bell, though. Have we heard that from Fulania's people before? Sounds like a snake name. Mm, but I feel like we've heard that name before. Oh, maybe Guardian. in the shop. Guardian. Could you locate like Hescus? Hescus? Magister, Ferrohorn, scanning. Hescus, deceased. Magister, Hescus, registered in Codex. Uh, oh. When did he die? Magister, Hescus, died. Eight hours previous. Oh. Sweet. Very good. Uh, was he always in the area he was in when he died? Or did, was he somewhere else before that? I am unable to trace Magda Heskis' location for a considerable time. Over past two months has spent majority of time in Mistara campus. Two months. And that would be about the time for the Lightborn children. But he's been on this task for 40 odd years. Maybe they just and thought they're... that First Light was the place to bring them due to 
Maybe he's is there a date in the journal from when he started, when he no did dates. the Falania? Okay. But it is only the sort of like, it is like the la latter part of the journal. Mm. There's no way to really tell like when, when each entry was written apart from this weird gap where it all goes a bit wrong for a while. And then if he wrote multiple times a day, that would create multiple entries. You just don't know. It's mm. difficult to tell. Can you scan uh, where he was deceased and the current state of the... My senses Place? are damaged. Mm. Unable to scan it's area. a shame. I would like to know how he died. Unable to provide answer. Damn it! Damn. The um, transportation node that we used to get here... Correct. Oh, well. Yes. Is it still intact? Affirmative. Node active. And how is the campus looking there? Campus badly damaged. Multiple sensor destruction. Guardians inoperable. Uh, inhabitants. Magister's right. Grand Magister's tower still intact. Disconnected mm. from primary spire. Accessible. Accessible via Grand Master's node. No. Nah. Not We're accessible not by that. yourselves. We're not Could friends. be accessed physically. Um, the lobby area where we teleported from. What? Current inhabitants are there. Sensors damaged. Yeah. Node inactive. Yeah. I'm wondering if the fire or Malady uh, churns up. She's like, Guardian, you, you said that the Grand Master's quarters couldn't be accessed by node, but could be accessed physically? Correct. Node is disconnected from main spire. However, if accessible via air, there is entryway still possible. Interesting. We need some form of flying ability to get there, but why would we? If flying magic available, you would be able to access Grandmaster's room. A novel distraction. However, we need to get these children out. Yep. Yeah. We it's perhaps always... something for Melody to keep going. If you can find, if you can be told a, a location. Hmm? Hmm? Sorry, I was no. busy thinking about things. Um, sorry, what? What do you need me to do? What am I doing? No, nothing. I'm just saying if it's accessible, then that's something for you. Yes, no, I intend to. Yes, Think of the most, most certainly. Yes. yes, 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 yes. The Grand Master of First Light. Who knows what treasures Who could be up there? Snacky Powerful people. relics, uh, books of history. Hmm. Guardian, can you tell us if there are any inhabitants in that spire? I detect no life forms in Grand Master's spire. Yuan T presence below, but disconnected. Noticing necromancy magic in Grandmaster's tower. Oh. Yeah. yeah. No. Is that normal? <laughs> well, the Grandmaster would probably have been an expert in all forms of magic: um, transmutation, um, evocation, illusion, and necromancy was at one time studied. Um, Maybe and he's everyone's alive okay again. with that. Hmm? Everyone's okay with that? Well, not so much these days, but back in back in First Light, when it was a true city, uh, there was no... People didn't do things for their own gains. A student in necromancy possibly could have looked at extending life, uh, ensuring that loved ones could return from the dead, um, many return things. Return from the dead, okay. Of that course, always goes well. sadly, people have exploited such Ooh. magics. Um, many before First Light became a, an organised body, would use such magics to create ghouls and skeletons and that sort of thing. Um, but the, the, the citizenry of, of First Light was not necessarily swayed from something just because it could be used for evil. Mm. They opposed it if it was used for evil. Mm. Guardian, do we actually, do we have access to, if, if we went into the Grand Master's area, are we allowed to? Grand Master, Spire, Lobby intact, Bed Chambers intact, Study intact, we don't Vault need intact. Vault. We don't need an invitation. I am, un I am unfamiliar with the question. Is it protected by spells or traps? Likely Grand Master has placed wards, correct. If invited by Grand Master, I am assuming you would be safe. <laughs> No. Can we, we need to get the kids yeah. back. Can we, we get the children I up? have no weapon. And we have five children. You have your fists. Them. You're very powerful. 
I'll just raise it again. It's very powerful. <laughs> we can't do much from in here without like the, the presence of Yuan T under the surface that swarmed up. That could happen anywhere. As a unit, we'll be we safe. I think we need to, yeah, get out, to get these... find you something when we're out. I'll make you one. Easy. Okay, children. Gather. They look up at you. Dead eyes. Melody, if we were to... <laughs> if we were to exit out the front gates, would the guards have issue with us? Um... Uh... They might raise some eyebrows at us bringing a number of children back with us. Um, I think as long as we're not carrying sufficient goods, uh-huh. they will not interfere too highly. They're more concerned with profits and gaining equipment, I would say. So if we showed them that we didn't retrieve anything? I suspect that they won't care. Is Reynard wearing the circlet or not. hiding it? It's not on me, no. Pass okay. it to me and I'll put anything valuable in my bag of holding and definitely give it back later. Okay, well you can take the golden thing yeah, anything and the looks, book. Yeah, I'll put uh, it in the bag of holding. Okay. All right. Let's teleport. Where do you wish to access the which place node? you suggested before. The safest exit, exit out. Exit to the city. Please define safest. Well, you, you defined it for us. You suggested an area before. You okay. said that there were two. You asked him if there were any which were close mm. to exits and had no life forms, and he said there were two. Out of those he two, is, he, does, he cannot define safe for you. Uh, that is a one very of the least inhabitants. Affirmed. Can locate two nodes near exits with zero life forms nearby. Uh, does that include ghouls? Undead creatures usually appear on sensors. However, some can avoid due to unknown phenomenon, mias, miasma, mist. Mm. The safer ones, where in cardinal directions are they in the city? South and west. Sounds good, isn't it? Sounds Melody, where did we enter? Uh, well, we entered via the south gate, um, but okay. we proceeded up the main avenue, um, and then we turned east uh, onto the 12th, 11th, um, it, we went south west ish. So either exit would. Uh, well, the eastern exit is not one I'm familiar with, really, I'm afraid. South is the main exit that we came from. Should we go for that one? Mm. Mm. Yep. I think so. I'm going to take my circlet off again and mm-hmm. uh, just say I won't wear this and I'll be your assistant as before. Magister, Garnadel, please place your seal where I can see it. It's still here. I'm still holding it. He, he like, very good. Do you wish me to activate teleportation node? Yes, please. Engaging. (laughs) You guys feel the strange sensation of your bodies lurching away. Um, The air suddenly turns much cooler. There is a black sky. You see a few stars twinkling ahead. And you find yourselves once again in the dead ruined city of first light there is a gentle green glow around you as you stand in what probably was once an enclosed building but the roof has collapsed and you can kind of feel this strong breeze um there was once a black and white marbled floor beneath you it's long been covered in dust and grime um and you can see leading through a pair of old rotten wooden doors is rows and rows of seating with what almost looks to be a long, scr- like a like a large window, um, but there are almost like faint flickering, illusory images on the screen that kind of jerk back and forwards. Um, it appears to be some sort of man with a sword and a woman yeah. kind of leaning back, the and they stage. kind of <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, some sort of uh, illusory stage show. Cinema. Cinema, yeah, fancy cinema. Well, the city. Like it before. I'm going to do a head count of the children. All of them there. One, two, three. three. What's the next one? Five. <laughs> um, you, there is no sound. There is no anything. 
and it is dead silent. This green glow uh, from the lights around. There are kind of these kind of long, thin tubes that glow with like a faint green light. Um, just kind of send this kind of very pallid, kind of spooky light around you. You can hear no sound immediately, but there is occasional scraping of stone, um, the howling of the wind, um, and this just this enormous concrete jungle of old falling apart buildings surrounds you. Um, it takes you a little while to get orientated, but eventually you find yourselves onto a main street. You see the horseless carriages kind of piled up in the road. You can see quite a few of them have been knocked over. Um, you see bodies, like occasional skeletons kind of caught beneath them or like a skull that's been blown away. Um, there are also dead bodies of those ghoul creatures you see just around, like most of them look weeks or months old crossbow bolts still sticking out of them, that sort of thing. Um, but you make your way out and through the various parts of the city. It takes you probably nearly eight hours to kind of walk through the city. You actually don't encounter any troubles. You don't encounter ghouls. You don't see any other scavengers. Um, and eventually you come across the southern gate. You re recognize the checkpoints, the kind of kind of chest high barriers of stone that were constructed, the, uh, the watchtowers built from uh, salvaged wood and metal. Can I, before we are in sight of them, mm -hmm. can I go invisible? Okay, so you pull out the loot and cast invisibility. Um, I'll grab Melody's packs off of her and hold them. Okay, you grab all the packs. As you guys approach, there's no guard. There are bloodstains. There are weapons. And that is it. Okay. Oh, God. This isn't good. Uh, investigate, so, please. Yeah, is there any signs <laughs> of what? Kill. So there's no bodies. Investigate. Uh, there are no bodies you can see here. Is there any sign bodies. of... Bodies. That's the Any one. sign of what <laughs> happened? Like what? Uh, perception check. It's quite dark. I'm going to cast a light. I mean, you've got dark vision, actually, yeah. what am I talking about? Um, 23. Everyone. And you've got dark vision. Um, your dark vision kind of is semi-kicked in because there is dim light, so you can't really see colour. But there mm. are what appear to be, you think, scorch marks. Like, part of the ground has been burnt. Huge claw marks um, have like been torn out through the earth. You do find part of a body, an arm, likely severed at the joint. Um, literally, it looks like it's been ripped out. Um, Does it look blood. similar to the claw marks that the big bird left Rock. in? No. No. Uh, I got a 14 on perception. Uh, you likely see the severed arm, which was kind of tucked beneath one of these like stone chest walls. You see the blood. The weapons of um, there's definitely like there are crossbows that have been fired. Um, you can see several of them have been broken. Um, there is uh, yeah, just signs of a general battle. How can we leave this place as fast as possible? Um, Ilori, with your 23, just give me a survival check, would you? There are tracks. You're not quite sure what's made them, but there has been no attempt to hide that they lead to new light. Like there are drag marks can and like heavy scrabs. Hmm? Can we see new light from where we you are? You can see lights in the distance. It's still a good sort of couple of hours journey away. Like, and it's, it's on not a on fire hill. or anything. Though. It's not. You see smoke. Okay. So now that you look, you can see that there is smoke, not fire, but heavy plumes of smoke. Can I do a survival check? Yeah, you can, yeah, absolutely. We shouldn't head to New Light. Probably not, though. No. We should avoid it. Yeah. Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Not survival? Mm -hmm. Yes. Not only are there tracks, and you can see that there has been no attempt to hide them. Um, whatever attacked here has walked to First Light, dragging bodies with it as it went. You notice that it is large wolf prints. Cool. Uh, these prints are wolf prints and mm. they are dragging bodies towards New Light. Mm. As in, but they're wolf prints, but there's only two sets. Like, that this wolf walked on its legs. It wasn't on all fours. How's your... Uh, it is one wolf walking on two legs. How's your dad doing? Well, I don't know. Let's go find out. Is there something I should... No. Is there any uh, other thing, items or anything? Scorch marks. It's fucking crown rend. Hmm? Juto, it's crown rend. <laughs> it's 
Would I recognise the scorch marks? I mean, they're scorch marks. <laughs> like, there is what about the claw long marks? scratches of flame. What about the claw marks? I mean, the claw marks look like they were done by a sharp claw. Large, large claw. You don't know. Is that what eviscerated these bodies? It, I mean... Is it the claw or was it the scorch marks that... We don't know. It's difficult to say. There is... The only real thing you have is a severed arm. Scorch marks, blood, dropped weapons, broken bits of armor, that sort of thing. Okay, let's not drive with emotion here. Let's think about the facts. The facts are, I have a group of children here that need to go to safety and take them to New Light would pose a problem for them. We need to take them You're to You're all talking, abs- I, 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 I'm with Mr. Farrahorn. I'm, I'm, I'm- Whatever kills things to be- here yes? is in New Light. Right. Do you Are we sure it's not like the, something that's come out of the city? No, it's not. It's something you're familiar with? Yes. Oh, I see. It's bad news for the children. Right. Um, well, there's, there's no near settlement. The nearest one is, is probably Briarcrest from here, and then that's days travel. Or Veldaban to the safe. north. Um, the, there's a dwarven settlement that I know of, uh, perhaps a day, a day and a half's mm. ride. Veldaban is where evacuated, your father is, though. Or came from. And Korak. Valdaban is a safer bet than Briarcrest. Briarcrest is under the control of the Broken Sky. How far is it to Talisval? Talisval from here, five days. Mm. With, like, that's with horses as well, which you left mm. in uh, New Light. When we get, if we go to Valdaban there, that's further away from Talisval, isn't it? Or is that. Uh, no, it's on the way. It's basically okay. First Light and Talisval are at two ends of the Shard Lake, and then okay. it's, you either go above the lake, which takes you to Veldaban, yeah. or you go below the lake, which takes you through New Light and Briarcrest. Quick update for you, so mm-hmm. let me keep you in the loop. Uh, Laura's father, the Noble King. Yeah, I went looking for him uh, Yeah. with, with Korak. Yeah. Remember the thing that was chasing him? He didn't really give me any updates, really. Remember yeah, the just... werewolf, Salal, who was chasing him with a demonic bracer that used to belong to Jude. Did we not fill you in on this? No. Okay, no. so. Melody's like, eyes are wide, like, looking at Reynard, like, <laughs> oh, I are didn't we? No, what I, I don't think we're. Into. What? <laughs> the only reason Salal would come through here on a manic, attacking, aggressive thing is if she's chasing. Surely, unless Crown Ren's fully taken over and is just destroying but anything. Who is she chasing? Us or Laura's father? She's Are we there's nothing around us at the moment? It seems like she's come through. First light's quite far, like First it light. is still like a good couple of hours away from New Light and things like that. Can I scry? Yes. I believe it takes some time, doesn't it? it takes ten minutes. <gasps> Ooh <laughs> Let's get the old player's hammer count. Scrying. Cast time, 10 minutes. Do you, oh, you have your uh, crystal ball. Mm-hmm. Concentration up to 10 minutes. You can see in here a particular creature you choose. What creature do you choose? Should I look at Silval or should I look at my father? It would be easier to see my father than it is to see her. Your father. Okay, I'm going to look for my father. Okay, you're going to look at your father. Uh, I don't know how many what are you? Sort of to it. Okay. While she's doing that. Can I cast Magic Circle around us? That also takes 10 minutes, I believe. One minute. One minute? Okay. And it's a 10 foot radius, 20 foot cylinder of magical energy. Uh huh. And I'm going to do that against fiends. Okay. Cool. I make your saving throw for Althadon because yeah. you attempt to scry on him. However, because you know the target well, and you are his daughter. <laughs> I'm going to give him a hefty penalty. Uh, he fails to save. So, uh, uh, I'm also just going to give everyone their stuff back, like, <laughs> like from the bag of holding, just like yeah. Just the same. Just the same. Just the same. I'm probably not invisible anymore as well. Okay. Let's see how fast Mark can make stuff up. No, Mark <laughs> actually knows exactly where Alphadon is. He's back you... at Tyler's fall. <laughs> the sensor. The crystal orb, the mist begins to die away, and you see an orange glow, like that of fire. It's dark wherever Alphadon is, and through the crystal ball your dark vision doesn't work. You see what appear to be heavy metal chains, stone channels of glowing amber liquid, molten metal, 
You see statues of dwarves with hammers and anvils. And your father, bound, suspended from the ceiling by thick chains. Next to him, you see a red and gold dragonborn figure also held up by chains. F, F, S. They are beaten. Althadon is unconscious. Uh, you see the dragonborn's chest rising and falling, but he is covered in deep scars, claw wounds. Um, it looks like part of his jaw is being broken. His arm is in a painful, awkward angle. Um, and yeah, and that's what the 10 feet can see. Would we... Do I get a sense of where it is or recognize the You can give place. me a religion check. Anybody here, because you can all see yeah, it in the crystal ball. Yeah, would we recognize the statues? You can make a religion or history check. Meow. 14. <coughs> 15. Natural one! That's the 10th one. 15 as well. 15. Cam and Reynard, did you use history or religion? I used history. History. Cam, the statues that you saw, you've spent a little bit of time amongst dwarves and you know a little bit about their culture. You know that they worship a god called Moradin, who is the god of the forge. He's also the father of all dwarves. Um, looking at the statues, that's clearly a statue of Moradin. I mean, he's known as the greatest smith. He is the grand smith. Um, and that is a statue of him. Um, so wherever they are is obviously some sort of holy place to Moradin, perhaps a temple or a shrine. Um, a lot of his temples were also smithies um, as well, so that might explain the, the molten metal and the chains and things like that. Reynard, you know that the dwarves, um, I mean, looking at it, you recognize it as being dwarven, but you're not really sure of the, the religious connection. Um, the dwarves tend to be in one of two or three places in the Dawn Republic. The vast majority of them live in a place called Aramount, which is a big mountain uh, city. Um, actually, it's beneath the mountain. Um, and they've had long wars with the Dark Elves there. Um, they've kind of broached a, a, a fragile peace and now they work together um, to help support the Republic. But it's always kind of been a bit of a, a place. It's a huge metropolis though. It's like bustling with people all the time. There also used to be a large amount of dwarves that lived in the northern ring of the Grasping Peak Mountains, uh, which separate the northern lands, the troubled lands, from the Dawn Republic. Um, there were numerous kind of little holds and cities amongst those mountains, but they were almost, they all kind of vanished uh, centuries ago, uh, long before the Lightfall. They just disappeared and nobody knew what happened to them. Um, and then the third one is there's a lot of hill dwarves that actually came out of the mountains years ago and settled places like Veldaban, yeah. um, things like that. Th that's, you're like, that's all the dwarf stuff I know. <laughs> mm. So Could there's, we? there's no way like that any You of would the, know the exact. But like all of the outsiders like that left those places, there's no way they'd be able to create a massive forge that um, you things like Veldaban, like the hill dwarves, no, they tend to live out in the hills. Like that would need to be in some sort of massive enclosed space. It's likely that a big city like Aramount could have something like that. Mm. Would knowing, but the older dwarves, like yeah, they would like in their mountain holds, they they would have had temples and, and shrines that, and smithies that look like that as well. Um, knowing yeah. what we saw of Veldaban, mm -hmm. do, can we like? think back and see if we saw any trace of like a temple or like ah uh, no there was it was like it was mainly like manor houses and stone yeah. buildings and taverns there were there might have been one of the smaller wooden buildings as a shrine yeah, but, but nothing, nothing like what you can see the in scale. the thing this is like some sort of i mean judging by how dark it is and just the scale of it all I, it must either be underground or in a huge room what about the mines that we yeah. went to slightly like north of that? You remember, I mean, you remember the asylum and somewhere like that, something deep in the mountain, that looks at about the right kind of like size and like the way it's been built, the architecture is about the same as well. Um, you kind of think that maybe it was probably, this temple seemed like it might have been built around the same time as that old asylum. Um, the mines, it's, it, this is worked stone. What you can see in the crystal ball is this is being shaped and built. Yeah. This isn't just like dug into the earth itself. Um, how far is Aramount from? Aramount is from where you are. It's a couple of days. Um, it's more towards the east. It actually, Aramount is on the mountain range, uh, the dragon's uh, 
fangs, I think they're called, which separate Bressaris and the Dawn Republic. Um, and it's it... where Tromar went, um, mm. when he went back to his family. He, you remember something about the drow saying that there was trouble there with some sort of creatures coming out from underground, um, and they needed Trell's help to try and deal with that. I don't suppose that before I left Korak, I would have had any information at all. But... The, what you knew is you were travelling, you had pretty much arrived at Velderban, but there was no sign of danger there. Um, okay. Korak basically said, it looks fine, you should go and find the others. No, I think they need your help. No, really, Reynard, I really think you should go and find the others. Um, so your company has been so wonderful, that kind of thing. Oh, thank and, you, Korak. And he kind of <laughs> encouraged you to head to First Light. Um, but when you got there, I mean, there was, you couldn't see, like, you know, Korak didn't seem, like, afraid. He, he didn't seem like there was any enemies there or anything like that. And how How far ago? past Veldvan is Aramount, then? Is I mean, the no, uh, other direction. Other direction. Aramount is in the clip. Aramount is two days past First Light uh, and beyond. It's so it, far further away. Veldvan is closer. It probably wouldn't be Aramount because we've been in First Light, New Light. How long have we been? About a day with long rest yeah, and the time you so spent in New Light. You would left pretty quickly, so it's not they, been more than 24 hours. So they, if they Korak have, was in Velderman, they would have wouldn't to have get had him. time to get yeah, to Aramount. Unless they teleported him or did something yeah. crazy. Yeah, I mean, unless they used magic or flying or something like yeah. that, then that's different. But if it was on land, I mean, with a good horse or something that can move quick, you can probably make the journey between Velderman and First Light in less than a day. That's how Raynard did it. Yeah. But if there's... If there's signs of cor uh, crown around here right now, then how this are is, they this there? This is Silval, surely. Mm. Well, yes, but who's? Uh, how Silval can she is be in a two wolf places? and a crown rind. Yeah, that's my question. Is if she's got those two prisoner, why is she here? How can how can she be given the time? Perhaps Felania. The crown rind went out of existence in the plane. Is it possible she can travel through a plane? I don't Rind. know what she can do. That's true. Well, we did see Crown Run disappear. What did the giant ship look like? Was that dwarvenish or was that? It looked more human like, but okay. with grander embellishments. I mean, it, it didn't really look like dwarven or human or elven or anything like that. It looked almost slightly unique. It was very grand, grandose, um, huge, and it was massive. I mean, it was, you know, the size of Velderman itself. The fire giant um, that you saw get on it. I mean, he looked like a human on a normal ship, yeah. and he was a giant. I was just wondering if there was any similarities between that and the place well, we just Felania saw. Well, Felania wouldn't... No, no. If Felania had Korak, then he wouldn't still be alive. Why would he still be alive? To draw us out? Because Why would she deposed. need to do that? If all she's trying to do is get rid of Korak and is she? get rid of the leader. She, she hates Korak. She may have loads of other reasons. Um, I'm so sorry, I understand that this is likely something very important yeah. to all of you. And the world, maybe. Is there anything, I, I'm, I mean, you've seen I'm not much of a fighter, but can I help in any way? We um, need to protect these children and get them I, I can to take them. them to First Light if need be. Uh, that's where smoke is and fire. Uh, sorry, Talisval. <laughs> I can take them to Talisval, but I mean, it would be better if we can get supplies at New Light. Um, I mean, we can go together. I can keep them safe while you scout it. Can Hank scout it? Uh, he he can't report information. I can't see through him or anything like that, I'm afraid. Not even with a talking stone. He can't communicate. He, he, is, he obeys orders, but he doesn't think like we do. One of us needs to go and scout and see if it's safe and then report back. I mean, we can try and cut through the country, but... I just don't have the, I mean, I, I'm not good at Maladie, foraging. can you go and scout? Wait. Yes, I mean, if um, Silval sees us, then it's bad news. Am I still invisible? How long have uh, you It lasts an hour, and so you've used it. Probably. So, I mean, even by the time you get there, it's going to be gone before you get to... I don't know Silval, and he probably doesn't know me. Silval is, is a she. female. <laughs> she <laughs> doesn't know me. She may have seen you travelling with you. You could go, Reynard. It won't take us long. If Reynard and I... Okay. Scout it. Two of you is always better than one. Yes, at least then one of us can rush back if need be. I, I have spells that can enhance our speed. And you know and where to go in New Light. Yes, yes. Can I, I still have the talking stone? Yes, it will work up to a mile. Can I look at where I can? The... I can, and she hands um, Reynard a coin. 
um, and you see her focus for about a minute and then she gives you a coin and then she does one for herself. Um, we can use these to dramatically make us faster at moving. Um, it should help us get there and back. Uh, you, no, you need to act, activate the magic. You focus on it and it will... It will... I just went to first light and back. <laughs> but, no, but you didn't though. No, uh, you don't know. I know how the spell... It's my spell! Oh. <laughs> uh, um, looking at the blood and tracks and stuff, do I get any sense of how long ago Not that long. was? Not long. Maybe like... Eight hours? Okay. Eight hours ago. Good thing we had a rest. <laughs> scout, scout, scout. Okay. She kind of focuses and then she kind of... And then... Boom! She's like a cheetah. Whoa, uh, I'm going to focus. Yep. yep. You activate an expeditious retreat <laughs> um, and you can basically move about 90 feet around. That's so sweet. you're like, <laughs> like you say, bottle flash. <laughs> um, you still get tired, so you don't run the whole way, but okay. moving quickly, you, you get there in like 45 minutes. Um, you, as you get closer, you can see that there are lots of guards and people milling around. Um, they are putting out fires. The Emerald Enclave, uh, the, sorry, the Emerald Blade HQ, uh, which you don't know but Malady recognises, has been burnt down. Lots of the militia that once patrolled around New Light are also dead. Malady reports this. She's just like, the, em the Emerald Blade he headquarters has been destroyed. A lot of the militia are gone. I, I can see Marlock and his boys. Uh, they seem to be organising the others. Uh, they're, they're doing their best to repair things. Um, there doesn't seem to be any violence from what I can see. <laughs> Um, we can we can move in before being quick. Come come, come right, nod. Okay. Um, and yeah, as you guys get in, uh, Melody goes up and asks a few people a couple of questions. You see her approach a half orc who just doesn't, you know, doesn't really recognise you, and he explains. Um, uh, so he's, he's like, Melody, thank goodness you're all right. Uh, I was worried that that she devil may have got you, and she's like, Mar Marlock, what happened? Well, she came out of nowhere. She came from first light. We assumed some sort of demon, perhaps, led loose in the old city. She arrived proclaiming something about uh, asking for who the leader of the town was. So, of course, Rashad voices himself, claims that he's ruling over the town. She just tore him apart. I mean, he tried to cast spells and throw magic his way, but this armor just kind of erupted across her skin, and then she flew at him and tore his throat out, and a uh, flame launched out of her arms. It destroyed the headquarters. And she was babbling something, saying that... Uh, if any, that we're all free now, that we could do what we wanted. We didn't want to try and fight her. And, uh, yeah, she, uh, she said, have you seen, do you, where, where's that human man and, and the elf that were with you? And she was just like, oh, I've, I've not seen them in some time. Um, hmm, it's actually quite convincing. Uh, she was asking, she said if, if any of us had seen uh, a man a ridiculous man in a green cape and, and an elf woman with blue skin and, and, and uh, purple hair. I, I, they were in my tavern. I, I didn't say a thing. I was worried what she was going to do. Um, she was asking if anybody had seen them, and she's like, oh, well, well if I see them, I'll, I'll be sure to warn them. Um, I, I'm just going to go check on everything else. I've got Hank outside. And he's like, yes, yes, we need to, we're going to be dealing with this. And he, like, follows off. Manly then reports all of this to you lot. Has um, she gone? It should seem so. Um, the others say that she, she fled off to the north, uh, past, past the city where we were. Do we know what, what's to the north? What direction would that? Felderban. Felderban. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and with that, we're going to finish today's episode. Oh, you son of a bitch. It's eight o'clock. Oh. It's the end of the stream. Da, da, da. So much lore. And plot. By the Descended. way, it is the Emerald Enclave, not the Blade. You're confusing it with it. I think I it was Emerald Blade the very first time I said it, and then I maybe changed it to Emerald Enclave, and then I changed it back to Emerald Blades. <laughs> very Both similar. work. Same thing. We're gonna read some donations now. Holy shit. <laughs> Hello. I will begin. Nightjar, thank you very much for your message with a little heart. As always, thank, thank you. you. Uh, Polly Dios has donated. Suck it, jerks! You can't escape me, my stream, while I'm at work. All the praise, uh, no, all the love and praise, Polly Dios. I thought like it said Polly Dildos then. Very different list, is that? Uh, Zuri Gaming oh, donated. Hey. Whoa! 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 Uh, hello, hi rollers. I have a million things I want to say, but they all boil down to thank you. You guys are awesome and a great inspiration for me as a new dungeon master with a soon one year D&D campaign. Congratulations. Which, uh, which has been very successful, and I have you. Hey, thanks. Thank you, thank you very much. 
Thank you. Zringin. Uh, Calback donated saying, love the stream, keeping me entertained while stuck in a hotel in Manchester. And Mark, you need to use the word miasma. 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 Uh, Olo Rem, thank you very much for your donation. And no ho message. Ho, ho. 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 Finally got the day off work, so can watch live. My 18th on Wednesday, so I'd say it's been a good week. Uh, anyway, thanks for being here while I discover I have a gluten intolerance and can't eat cookies anymore. Oh, that's Yay. that. See you and roll high, especially Katie. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Nine critical <laughs> ones. Yon said Bonnie donated, so help me God, Kim, I will frame the goddamn page if necessary. Hope you liked it. So Yon's Bonnie sent Kim a framed cutout of the key points. <laughs> it's the section. wrong bit though, it's the bonus attack bit. Yeah, it's the martial like, arts bit. She that needs a gets breakdown Kim. of what she can do per to turn. To avoid Gucci confusion, confusion, I can't even say it, keep rolling from Yon's Bonnie. Thank but you. like this bit is great. So it's very helpful. that bit I know. Yeah. That bit I know. It's the it's the extra attack. The rest of the player's handbook. It's yeah. all all of this. That. Kim, next one. The Nord's house has donated. Now we have Cam killing objects with poison. So what reality breaking action will he take next? So like honestly, yeah, I looked up animate objects. Dumb. It doesn't say that they become constructs. It doesn't say they're immune to poison. It says they're immune to other things like being blinded oh, and stuff. Oh, so if they state oh. that then. Maybe it's just one of those things. I think it's a missed thing. I, I think, like, if it had been, like, a poison, like, in a vial, I would have said it's not going to fucking work. But because yours is, like, magic poison, sure. It's, like, divine. Yeah, it's, like, divine it's god thing. poison. It's force. God poison. Powerful uh, force of poison. King Mano B donated. Hi, Rollers. I recently won money, so here's your cut. Thank you for suggesting Roll20. As of tomorrow, I will... I, will, oh, I have been playing with the same group for a full year. Uh, it's been great. My barbarian... Barbarian, barbarian. is amazing. Kill, then sing. Wow, that's that sounds rock fun. That's a good multi class. That sounds yeah, I like fun. It. Nice. Um, Star Monkey TV has donated, saying, "Vod Thank Squad you. for me, late June to playing due to playing 40k, but needed Good. to kick those dirty Astro Militarium into the dirt." Good mm. stuff. Thank you very much. Good. Good. Cubano, love the show. Find <coughs> Cubano. Glad to watch you live. Thank you. Cubano balls. Collect the whole set. Go on. Jerking off to trot has donated. Hey guys, thought I might donate some more. Little by little, I'm paying for the sex tape trot made with Smithy. So I'm expecting it real soon, Trotty San. Sure. Katie, you might not roll high with dice, but your looks are a natural Aww. 20. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, twat. Hashtag dick marble. Oh, yeah. it's sick Still in marble. there. Still That's in the there. Problem. You can't get it out. No. It's like a, like a uh, kidney stone. Got pass it. Bandai Nenzai has donated. Hey Rollers, hope you all have had a lovely week. Sad to hear that Matt won't be regular on the main campaign again, but lovely to hear that Tom will be part of the crew. Hashtag Yay. justice for Hazel. Thank you. Sending hugs to all of you, especially Casey. Kirsten Netwins. You did not have a Absurd. good time. I'm Absurd. hoping that what you're doing is you're getting all these natural ones out now before yeah. you have to fight Silval. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Like, like, first someone, fuck. someone legit was like, "You need to roll your dice." <laughs> <Kim. laughs> what? Why did you? Oh, what a I joker! I said, "He said we're gonna have to fight Silva." <laughs> so funny. We could negotiate. <laughs> Aztec, awesome, awful. Um, hey, I know it's not much, but all I can do right now, this is my first live high rollers. Nice. I'm watching from Japan, where I live at the moment. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, wow. Sam. Oh. <laughs> um, Techie Reed has donated saying, Hi all, loving how tense it's getting. <laughs> I like that you're here now because I'm going to I know. <laughs> hey, at a certain point it was ridiculous, like, I don't know why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi all, loving how tense it's getting. Hope you made it out safe. Hashtag, hashtag justice for the kids. Have fun at I61 next week. Thank you very much. Uh, Let's move on <laughs> to the next ones. What? T Porter, 222 donated saying, Hi guys, just want to thank you for the incredible stories and characters you built for us all. Also, how can you all keep getting more and more gorgeous every week, especially Kim and Katie? Aww. What about me and Tom? Fuck you. I yeah, don't what factor into the <laughs> equation. That's, that's how shitty I am. Not Mark. <laughs> it makes the rest of us feel so inadequate. I, know. I mean, you know, it's fair. Like, I'm not, you I'm can not come hungry. again, T Porter. <laughs> um, Tucker2025 donated. Tom will need his own group in Discord now. Raynerds Nards. Also, this means Kim is the only one not in the HR Discord now. Sort it out. We occasionally discuss animal penises in there so you can feel right at home. P.S. Cloacas are hilarious. 
cloacas. Cloacas? Mm. I'm kind of avoiding. I'm just going to remember Chris Trot's comments or lack like the thereof. Of time, or like thereof. Yeah. What's what's Jito's group called? Um, Tieflings. Mm, well, uh, yeah. is that what they call in the Discord? Yeah, they call the Tieflings. Tieflings. Okay. Do I have a group? What's my group's name? Storytellers. Or about the slaves. <laughs> you should really join. I would like to punch though. Chris Trot. Can I roll for Damage? Sure. You've already done this. Just throw the dice out. No, Kim. I want to punch Kim, Kim, Chris Kim, Trot. Kim. Uh, Fenria has donated. Sorry for nagging at you on Twitter, Mark. Here's a donation to make up for it. Nagging. How are you guys? Kim, I hope your health will improve soon. Do you guys have any fun ideas to throw a low level party in an exploration camp? Cobalts. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Snake. Cobalts are hilarious fun in every campaign. Or, or a demented beholder. Well, uh, well, not a beholder. Or a beholder. If you get Volo's guide, Tarasque. Grungs. Oh, yeah. Grungs what about flail snails? Flail snails are pretty good. Okay. They're not as good as Grungs. A whole gaggle of flumps. Flumps! <laughs> Uh, honky Conky donated. Napsnack, bitch! Napsnack! <laughs> Napsnack! <laughs> Best <laughs> message ever. Uh, Movies Manny has donated saying, These episodes are sad. What happened to the kids was shitty. They would be happier if they had some ass and titty. <laughs> Every time. Oh, Movies Man. Now you've become our new awkward dog. Race. Ace of Thorns has donated. Have a lovely holiday, Kim. Thank they you. can forge your signature, but not the full on live nano sounds experience. Uh, I'll shut up now, except to say, hashtag Rip Guando. All the best oh, to Matt, yeah. and welcome to the team, Tom. Hashtag justice done for Hazel. I mean, the live nano sounds experience is me just like looking a bit hey, dazed and confused. So, yeah. And, like, yeah, I'll sign yeah, it. Just like, do don't look at me! <laughs> really, man? A great injustice has occurred. A mighty weapon once in the hand of a great mystical warrior has been lost. Many songs will be sung for the great weapon and the sorrow that must have befallen the mighty warrior. Press F to pay respects. Wow. Go on now. I'm we'll actually, like, yeah. I will remember you. I think that's the thing, is Jito will genuinely yeah, like, be upset. Like, like black and white fading out. <laughs> you are God, God. That's like a genuine, like, part of her life. <laughs> Shouldn't put it in the door now. then. Well, otherwise we would have died, motherfucker. That's not And all your little children too. It's when you put it in the door, I was like, mm, that's right. either going to break. <laughs> No, the, the Grand Owl was not going to break the door, would have broken before the Grand Owl was enchanted. The, was the leather, broken. actually, your, your, the wrestling belt would have held for some time, but it would have eat, like, I would have made checks. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. You could have just used your turn. a stick. <laughs> I could have just used Cam. Yeah. Um, Bolt me in the door. Yeah. Carry Wolfhound on. has well, there's donated. There's a lot going on here. Heyo! Donating again because I didn't compliment Trot or Tom last week. I ran out of space. So. I get it. Tom, yeah. you are a magnificent dog fucker mm -hmm. who still owes us that Civ 5 game. Yep. Chris Chess, <laughs> you're my favourite of the head films and I love your sense of humour. Either way, like that Trot. There's mm -hmm. a lot to explain. In I that just one. donated that. So thank you. Well, apparently you fuck dogs. Yeah. Hang on, I can. We'll go into this later. Um, <laughs> Metamanu donated $30. Um, farewell, Gwando. Dow. You will be missed. Is that how it's spelled? Gwando. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like Metamanu's message, actually. Yeah, okay. It's funny. Uh, you will be missed. Uh, you were just a quarter staff with slashing damage, but oh so effective. <laughs> 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 uh, on the end. It, no, you're right, man. Uh, oh, my feels. Congrats, team, for saving the small lightborns. Can we keep Malady? She's nice so far. Love you guys. It's malady, so as in malady. a malady. A malady, like when you have a malady, not a melody. There you go. Right. There's a lot of generous donations there today. There is a lot. Uh, Daft Dave 41 has donated saying, Hi Rollers, you must be joking. Ha. By my count, you had 10 natural ones. Yep. How about crazy. we call it $3 per roll rather than <laughs> Kim's suggestion? <laughs> <laughs> As a side note, thanks Mark. Big old cliffhanger for two weeks. Side note two, hashtag hooray for Hazel. Oh, hooray for oh, Hazel. That's a good one, yeah. Yeah. Hooray, hooray, hooray for, for Hazel. Hazel. Of course good. I didn't plan it when we have a two week gap. Yes. So you come back. Oh man. Yeah, you better come back. Atorerus <laughs> donated, very generous as well. Thank you guys for all the great content you have given us. Congrats to Tom as his persistence has finally paid off and he's now a full member of the High Rollers. Congrats to Tom as his persistence has finally paid off and he's now a full member of the High Rollers. Congrats to Tom as his persistence has finally paid off and he's now a full member of the High Rollers. Broken. Congrats to Tom. Slap him. He's broken. His <laughs> Thanks. Recently paid off. <laughs> Are we going to, is that That's all it. of them, Steve? Yeah. Definitely we did more. it. Nobody wants to drop a thousand. He's done. Yeah, he's, he's done. <laughs> Great. Check out Thank the High you. Rollers Discord. Yes. You can check out the High Rollers Discord. Don't forget, you can now watch all of the VODs immediately. You don't have to wait for Yogg's Live. Twitch. But it will be on Yogg's Live if you'd like to watch it there. If that's your preference. Well, yeah. um, we will be back on Friday without Tom, but with Matt for Uncharted Territory on Friday. 
but there will be no stream next week because we're going to be we're at here. a convention. Yep. So we will see you again on Friday. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your generous donations. Enjoy the next two weeks of waiting. Yeah. Go on Discord and start discussing spoilers. Not in the lobby. Only in the chats that are designated, please. Figure also, out what the hell's going on for us, please. Follow us on Twitter at D D for <laughs> updates and things and Kim's lovely tweets. Or oh, follow me, because I'm like 10 away from a thousand. <laughs> He's been at the bottom of the screen the whole, the whole time. time. Anyone that's going to follow you is going to follow you. Just saying, just no Bye! Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.